Roger, let me go. You give me code now. 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 Oh. Now. Oh. Now. Let it go. Are you kidding? Nobody cuts off Biggie Smalls. <laughs> hey, jackass, you want some of this? Oh, 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 oh. What it is, guys? It is your boy, Sergei, hailing from Great Mother Russia. Filling in for the blast for Miss HD yet again because he has uh, hell, uh, tonsillitis. You guys have been inside of my DMs on Discord and you say to me, you must uh, check out the American Dead clips that we have sent to you, huh? If you do not, we make unconsensual intimacy with your pet goats. Sergey cannot have this. Sergey only has goats. So Sergey is here to. to <laughs> you guys have seen the American Dead compilation of funny moments, and Sergey is here to review them shits. Bitches. Let us do this. Been a tough day for all of us here at the Glance. Steve Smith has now been missing for 36 hours. I'm joined by some of Steve's classmates. You look like the type of girls who do a lot of regrettable things. How does it feel today knowing you'll probably never get to hit that? Sad. Steve was really cute. I guess I just wish I could have hit that. It's so important to have sex with people before they go missing. Mm. Sergey backs up this statement. Very, very important to get inside of uh, people's hella hella before they go missing. Very important. Kiss your mother today and let her know. Let her know something. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All those girls want me? Yeah, awesome! No. The longer I stay in this cabin, the more late I'm gonna get. Uh, yeah. Shit. Thanks for letting me interview you for the Anne Rice Fan Club newsletter. Oh, no problem. How did you get my number again? Huh? Oh, from your high school principal. Yeah, huge Anne Rice fan. Total mo. Hi, uh, reservations for two under Roger? We don't take reservations. Excellent. Hold up, hold up, yo. I heard there's a new badass driver in this mug. They call him the suit. I'll tell you something right now, he crazy. Yo, yo, suit's in the house. Oh, hey, girl, holla at you, boy. I can't wait to enroll here. People are finally gonna take me seriously. Don't they have college on your planet? Yeah, but if you're not Asian, it's impossible to get in. Hey, Ethan. God, Ethan is so hot, and he completely ignores me. It makes him so much hotter. Why? Do women like that? What are you talking about? He totally ignored me, and I don't think he's hot at all. Ah, now I see it. Now I'm no, seeing it. No, I'm Professor Guggenheim. No. Wait, is there another G? Or is it... I'm Professor Baxter, and you'll be respecting me this semester. What are you doing? I went to talk to the dean, one lie led to another, and he asked me to teach this class. You can't teach. Quiet, please. You may have thought this class was about literature. You were wrong. This class is about life. Electric word, life. It means forever, and that's a mighty long time. But I'm here to tell you, there's something else. My office hours, they're Tuesday from 1 to 3. Mm -hmm. So, did you get that part on Ryan's Hope? No, they really like me, but they're going with someone a little more flesh-colored with a nose. Give it up, loser. Oh. I'm not a loser! <sighs> Disco's greatest hits. Best songs from 1974 to 1980. This tape is from the future, but that's impossible. On the other hand, I'm a spaceman working in a lane, so maybe I should open my mind a bit. Congratulations, you just made your first million. Don't look for a second. Woo! You can look again, ma! What? Steve said you were here. Mr. President, I have something important to show you. I hope you brought your checkbook. Uh, that's our maid. Oh, fun. I love Mexicans. Dude, 
Dude, that rocked! Who are you? I'm Krispy Kreme McDonald's. My Krispy Kreme mama got raped by my McDonald's daddy. <gasps> Sounds like an overweight porn star. We gonna edit that out. Get out! Get out of my bedroom! Roger, thank God! Where were you? You didn't come home last night. Oh, I was well looked after, Stephen. I found a new boy. A boy who won me something worth 750 tickets at the arcade. Oh. That's more than you make in a year. Boy, Ooh. I have never told a guy about my nose job on the first date before. It's a good first date. What do you think about maybe doing it again? Jerry, will you marry me? It's Shari, and yes! Oh, Jacob, you have made me so happy! Ma, you won't believe it! He asked me to marry him! Yes, the orthodontist! Brandeis! Reformed. Ashkenazi. Haven't seen the car. I know, is it great? We did it, Ma! We finally did it! Over here. <laughs> Ugh, what is that? A Manhattan. I feel great! Timmy, it's not nice to point. But he doesn't have a nose! Mm. He can't help it if he's deformed. Oh. Deformed? I'm just as God made me, madam. <laughs> Motherfucker. Bacon. Stir a Becco. Tremors won three Saturn Awards. What's a Saturn Award? You're missing the point. You're right. Sorry. That's Kevin Bacon. They think you're Kevin Bacon. Yes, Haley. I understand things that happen around me. Is it bad that he really looks like Kevin Bacon? Did someone order a sexy Persian wingman? Let's go. I gotta keep moving or these pants will cut off my circulation and my legs will die. I'm just gonna go. Oh, thank God. That guy sucked so much. I only invited him because our folks had to escape Tehran together. We left everything behind. Our house, our cars, my little brother. Oh my God, this is my song! I totally asked him to play this! What? what? What's going on? I'm Steve's cousin. I tripped on your walkway and I need compensation. I'll take a check. And I'll need two forms of ID. Passport's okay, or a utility bill with your current... You know what? You're boring me. Make it a thousand cash. You get paid to look honest. Cup of your hottest coffee, please. Remember, you're the face, I'm the brain. Oh, this cup is irresponsibly hot! Oh, my face! Oh. 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 <laughs> exactly. God, baby, your back is so toned. Oh, my lats. Yeah, the electric can opener broke. I've been opening them manually. With these big, strong hands, oh, they make me feel so safe. Thanks. Cans again. I'll tell you the cans I like. Oh, sassy hands. Don't just get one cheek, girl. Other side. You poached my bear! <laughs> what the hell are you doing? I'm taking my bounty back! Ah! What's your problem? Oh, you mean besides being shot at by a bottom-heavy freak? <gasps> you know it's awkward when I try to jog. Recent rumblings from the art world suggest the market should decide this one. I'll be holding the auction this Saturday. <gasps> oh. Whoever heard of a sad clown? Will you tell my fortune? Steve, before she tells you your future, let me tell you her past. 40 years of alcoholism and three doctorless abortions. You are a sad, angry little person. Hello, sharper image. Yeah, give me three Sopranos pinball machines, the radio golf ball, a floating ant farm, a flashlight hammer to smash the ants with if they piss me off. I'm, uh, I'm gonna call right back. What the hell is that? Now, while I hacked the database, you created a diversion. <gasps> a diversion? Oh, this is a caper, like... Ah, uh, hate virgins. Maybe in the movies. Speaking of movies, you ever seen Man on Fire? Is that the one with that? Oh, I suppose you have a better backstory? My name is Braff Zecklin. I was an international race car driver. One day, a baby carriage rolled out onto the track, so I swerved into the retaining wall to avoid it. The car burst into flames, but the baby miraculously survived. I was that baby. That doesn't make any sense. I'm Braff Zacklin! I'm playing poker tonight with a couple of guys from work. We need a fourth, so Chili's coming along. Chili? You heard right, baby. They call me Chili because I got ice in my veins. What's with these cards, Bad Larry? You're screwing me with these cards! 
Did, did I clean my toilet with a washcloth and then jam it into your mother's mouth? What? Because that's what you're doing to me. <clears throat> Hello to a well-behaved fellow who's very sorry. I'm very sorry. I know I've been a real pain, but I'm going to be super nice from now on. I trust you'll enjoy my spa, Mr. Stan Smith of the CIA. In fact, you'll like it so much, you'll never leave. <laughs> oh my god, you smell that? I had a pickle an hour ago. Came with my Reuben. I'm so fat. Now, who does Betty know me as? Cousin Phil, number 302. that woman's manipulative. She uses her personal drama as an excuse to come here, take over Stan's life, and elbow me out. Threatened by the visiting mother-in-law. Cliché. Oh. <laughs> Tacos! Oh. Who's crying? <laughs> I'll have you know I studied at the feet of the master, Dr. Phil. It's Oprah approved. Oprah, 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 Oprah! My card. The only currency I accept is the joy I get from helping my patients. This is a seven of diamonds. Yeah, you're gonna have to write my fake phone number down on that. Klondike 52487. I'm a ninja, everybody! I'm doing ninja stuff now! D-Day, 1944. You think about the bravery, the heroism that happened here. It's just humbling. Men younger than us, boys, really. Just boys trying to fight off an American invasion. I, I was talking about the Americans. Uh, the Germans were brave, too. Less brave, maybe. You'll be answering to Peters now. Give him anything he needs. Guess I'm the boss of you. What's your name? Stan. Hmm, I already know a Stan. I'm gonna call you Mortimer. Now run and fix me a coffee. Today, Mortimer James. I have the middle name when I'm disappointed in him. Name's Luke Fondelberg. Just started today. Any hot pieces of tail around this office that like a good groping? You see that episode of Seinfeld Thursday night ten years ago? You wanted to see me? Fondelberg, did you sexually harass Miss Vanderboobin? You bet your ass I did. I harassed the crap out of her. Damn it! Now we have to pay her a settlement. You're fired! Both of those things work for me. See you in hell. He's king. He's king. That spring break sucks. I could throw a better spring break than that loser. I'm Scotch Bingington, the true king of spring break. My scepter shoots shivers! And this end dispenses Luden's cough drops. I'm fighting something. What? <laughs> what? 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 What's going on? My tequila! That worm had a name! Now, if you will excuse me, I am late for my daughter's arranged wedding. She will learn to love him. May I help you? Yes, I'm looking for a Judy Panowitz. What a coincidence! Lonesome glove, why can I never find your mate? Did I donate it to that soldier I read about who lost his arm in Iraq? No, I would have remembered getting a sloppily written thank you note. I can't find my dinosaur stickers. Well, you'll have to look for them yourself. AJ has a boo-boo. I have a boo-boo, too. You did that on purpose. <laughs> Roger! What the uh, hell? I would have never... You're supposed to fight him for that. You don't let him do that. <laughs> come down here if you hadn't declared this the summer of exotic adventure. Ah, Chinatown where you could tell me it was Japantown or Koreatown, and I'd nod and smile. Delivery for the Phantom of the Telethon. Oh my god, my pipe organ, yay! This is what I'm supposed to play maniacally down in the catacombs? Oh, what'd you think you were getting for $39.95? No, no, this is totally unacceptable. Ah. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, yeah, I can uh. work with this. How often does Roger win free passes to a first-class spa? Oh, once isn't enough? No, Roger, I meant it as a good thing. Well, that's not how it sounded. Y you have a way about you, Haley, that just... Ugh, turns me off. Ow! She bit me! What? <gasps> you were gonna let me die for $1,800? No! Yes. No. Not now, Steven. I have a meeting in like one minute.
pretend to be my assistant. And if this guy asks, my name is Freddie Underwood. Porn screenwriter extraordinaire. Helicopter Perry, the sleaziest porn producer east of Van Nuys. Come here, you son of a bitch bastard. So, how's the smut business, HP? The internet's killing me, Freddy. Every frat boy with a digital camera thinks he's a filmmaker now. I've seen what you speak of. Dumpster sluts and the like. There's no art in it anymore. When can we see it? Oh, no, no, you will not be attending this abortion. Ugh, the director's an idiot, the lead can barely speak English, and the second lead is 30 pounds overweight. P.S. I'm the second lead and I'm starving. Okay, first of all, I don't believe in any of this therapy nonsense. <gasps> the Logans! Oh my God, the Logans! They were the first family I ever lived with and then they abandoned me years ago and I haven't been able to trust anybody ever since. Thank you, doctor, you are a miracle worker. You see that, people? That's how you share. That's a freaking breakthrough. You make me sick. Ah! I need to know. Ah! Why did you leave me like that? You rented a room from us and refused to pay. I paid you in ah! laughter! We were afraid of you! Bro, I've had people do this to me. <laughs> like, you let them stay with you, and you take care of them or whatever, and when you throw them out because they act like douchebags, they try to flip it and say, you did horrible stuff. It, it never surprises me, really. It's hilarious. <laughs> That's how you share. That's a freaking breakthrough. You make me sick. <laughs> I need to know. Sick. Why did you leave me like that? You rented a room from us and refused to pay. I paid you in laughter. We were afraid of you. Jenny, you better shut up right now or I will cut your face. If it's the same Roger who takes his pints down at the cat and the fiddle, he is prone to disguises. I also hear he's wanted in a string of prostitute murders he is. On. And the club foot. I have everything down. Oh, do you? Indeed. What's my favorite breakfast sausage? Vice first. With? Sauerkraut. Also with? Hefeweizen. Baseball player? Show advice. Tennis racket? Schlesinger. Made up word. Scheigelbarben. I have nothing left to teach you. You are ready for the inheritance, lawyers. Oh, wait, there is something else you should know. I bedazzled my genitalia. Ah, oh, then we have a happy coincidence going on here. Roy Rogers McFreely is the name, chairing the homeowners associations, my game. Yes, I know what you're thinking, but the jacket is vintage. You won't be able to find one anywhere. I need to have this form signed by the owner of a real business. This is a real business. To wit. Ew, it's filled with fingernail clippings. I mix them in with the wasabi peas. No one notices. I also have a business license. Probably should have started with that. Fine, Mr. Calhoun. I'll get right on it. Great. And after that, you can clean my pants up, because I just missed a Belvedere myself. Google it. I am Dmitry Garabedian, a high-ranking member of the Armenian Mafia. Roger's place pays us for protection. You recognize this woman? That's Constance Mathers. Where did you get this picture? The security camera. So I killed her. You can't do that! It is already done. Captain Francois Dubonnet, French Interpol. I have devoted ten years of my life to toppling your criminal empire, Madame Marouche. Your reign of terror is over. And I am Raoul. You are too old and barren. I am leaving you for a real woman who can bear me a son. Damn, her titties long as shit. I once knew a female whose boobs went to her kneecaps. When she came out of her bedroom, she was wearing a really long t-shirt that didn't go down to her kneecaps. But her titties did, though. <laughs> And whenever she would walk, she would sway. And they would dangle like this far up under her shirt. I couldn't say nothing to her because it was my homeboy's sister. And it's messed up because I heard her before I saw her titties. And I was like hella attracted to her voice. And now it makes sense because if your titties is that long, your voice better be your fucking point. <laughs> yeah, you know I'm saying? After like 30 minutes of flirting with this bitch, I turned around to see her long ass titties. And after that, she kept trying to hit on me because I was we were talking back nasty. And I had to just turn it all off. Just never talk back to her. <laughs> I can't even do it, bro. And I am Toro, Raul's half-bull son from the future. My father's other testicle became stronger and he met it with a bull to conceive me. Are you Lucius Mayweather? Who wants to know? Roger, what, what the hell? Roger? No, Lucius. 
You must be the white boy looking for a wheel man. I'm in. For God's sakes, I'm assembling my own crew. That cracker's got a crack in his head, if you ask me. You hustling me, boy? Barry, ah! Koshi, you know my Uncle Roger. Ah, I'm Yeah, my mom's side. And what's Steve want? You hustling me, boy? <laughs> now is that I have my own plan. While everyone's focused on snot, I'll be heading to the bathroom to share a doobie with the busboy in exchange for an angry handy jay. I show hush bomb for the defense. <sighs> Don't you worry, kid. I'll win this for you. We'll get your foreskin cut off, all right. What? And who shot Gianni Versace? Was it a Jew? I don't know. It was in Miami. Mail call. Per usual, I opened and read everything. You're welcome. Franny, you got some cleaning coupons, because that's what you do. And Klaus, you got nothing, because people think you're dead. You know, you don't have to say that every time. You could just not hand me anything. I can explain. A DeLorean? <gasps> Are you running Coke? No. I get it. We'll talk later. I'm good for half a key. Tonight is going to be so much fun. I feel like the bell of the ball. Yeah, well, I'm the bell of the ball, so you can feel however you want. <gasps> Hello. Oh, I says hell. Half the petty officers in the 7th Fleet could have fathered that kid. Why am I the one that's got to pay to fix his cleft palate? But the whole thing was messy, so I jumped ship in Okinawa, caught a flight home, got back last night. Anywho, what's got you so glum? Oh, good lord, it's real. You know, Stan, it's too bad. I actually liked Francine. The rest of them can suck it, but Francine, I'm sorry to see die. Anytime I want, I could let out some bad wieners. Say, Stan, I'm the decider again. Oh, yeah? Oh, where, where do you keep these alleged death dogs? Well, they're not here. They're someplace safe. Someplace you'll never guess. The last place you would ever think to look. No, 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 don't look in the fridge. They're not in there. The hell are you? Why? Roger, let me go. You give me code now! 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 Oh, now! Oh. Now! 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 Oh! Yeah! 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 I'm waiting for my buddy so he can tell me if these look good. Should be just a few more minutes. You know, you don't, you don't need to stand there. I'll, I'll tell them you helped me. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Are we going to fool around? Only the best for my good friend. Oh, look at the friendly locals. Hola. Stan, put my brooches in the room safe. Okay, you were right. They were going to kill me. Is that pee? I can't believe you sacrificed your helicopter for me. Is the whole place peed on? I sacrificed it for my friend. Who peed on the city? Stan, Stan Smith. I, you know, I'm, I'm having trouble getting his voice right. You, you know what? I'm just going to make him sound like Sean Connery. Sweetheart, I'll have a mango teeny shaken, not stirred. Stirred. Is that how I say it? Stirred. Why are you still here? Is food appropriate for a small dog? Oh, ma'am, I'm not qualified to answer that. See, I only have one mouse on my name tag, which means I do stocking, lifting, and the like. You need to talk to someone with at least one dog. See, it goes one mouse, two mouse, one bird, two bird, then one dog, then two dog. I hear there's a guy up in Portland with three dogs, but I think that's just an office rumor. Wouldn't it be something if it was true, though? Hey, Roger! What's going on? Not much. Just boring myself in this old broad. Relax, MC Roggy. Let it go. Are you kidding? Nobody cuts off Biggie Smalls. <laughs> Hey, jackass, you want some of this? Oh, 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 So first, just a medical oh, question. Oh, Where have oh, you been going to the bathroom? What? It's just that these are new socks, and I paid extra for monogramming is all. See? That's not a monogram, that's a penguin. My name is Dr. Penguin. What's happening? I was just about to do something really funny. I'll tell you what's happening. It's the end of the world. And we've been left behind! Oh my god! The homeless guy from the bus station is hung! But I knew that. Eh. 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 Whoa, is that rich! Can't have too much of that. Another very bad race, Clancy. I'm Clancy. Sorry, Mr. McCormick. We'll do better next week. Unfortunately, there isn't going to be a next week.
Mr. McCormick, no! Ah, uh, sorry, Clancy. The only way I can recruit my losses on this horse is to shoot it in the face and collect the life insurance I took out when I married it. What? Uh, Mother... Hey! I didn't get to do that earlier. Stop telling Francine on me! Ow! So we just gonna breeze past the fact that he's boning the horse. We just gonna breeze past that. Okay. All right. Okay. No, I, I see. Jeez, that really hurt. Ah, oh, crap. Can I help you? I had an appointment with the horse whisperer. Oh, yes, he'll be right with you. Thank God I'm just his secretary. I'm an associate. Oh, boy. Cut! Awful! Who are you? The name's Ira Siegel. Why is the fat guy the female? <laughs> oh, God. I directed the episode of Sybil, where Christine Baranski sat on her balls. Point is, I can direct this thing. Look how many pockets are on his jacket. I think we should let him do it. I know who Chex Limino is, and you're not him. It's because you're not seeing me in my outfit. Eh? Recognize me now? Mustache, courtesy of an L.L. Bean mannequin named of Frederick. Ah, uh, an alien and a mannequin. What were we thinking? We were young. The Smithsesses takes the precious from us. The Smithsesses. <laughs> oh, shit. Precious is ours. As... Oh, what a beautiful ring is. Wait, this turns people invisible? Who needs to be invisible in the middle of nowhere? Where were you when I farted at Danny's wedding? Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, please, no. No, no. No, wow! Oh, I'm falling! Somebody, please! My name is Clive Trotter, and I'm an American, and I am in trouble! Lucas, how'd you do? Oh, that's excellent. I probably got an A, though. You should study with me next time. Maybe order in a pizza and a two-liter? What do you like, Sprite? I sure do. What? No way! Wait, why is this wrong? Next to Miranda writes, I put Miranda has the right to a decent man who will help her raise her baby. Are these questions not about sex in the city? Lucas, why won't you tell me what kind of soda you like? If you had been in that parking lot, you would have kicked that mugger's ass. He humiliated me. I'm tired of being weak. Help me. I've been waiting to hear those words for a long time. I just pray they would come from my son and not an alien in a sports bra. It's a support tank. It's too small. It rode up my belly. So, you wanted to have lunch. Well, here I am. Thanks for ordering me a drink. That's the cream. That explains why I went down creamy. This is exactly what we're talking about. Stan, will you put mine on? You've made me so happy. Look, they've got a wine train. We can ride. Wait, can we ride it? It's a small train that goes through the vineyards and carries passengers. Yes, we can ride the wine train! Choo-choo! Don't do that. You guys see my rad new camera? I'm pursuing a newfound passion. Crime scene photography. Ooh, like the guys on CSI? Yes, Klaus. Remember we were watching CSI together and I was like, I want to do that! And you were like, you totally should. Ring a bell? Not at all. Are you sure you weren't just high on angel dust talking to the ceiling fan? Oh, that's right. Hello, y'all. I'm Stan Smith's brother, Appleby McFridays. Do I smell kreplach? Hey, Rabbi, I got a joke for you. Two priests are hitting on an altar boy. Uh, hello, guy who mistakenly believes he's my brother. Roger, what happened? Well, I guess sometimes a hole in a men's room stall is just a hole in a men's room stall. I've got a plan. Does that plan include explaining why a footless blind man is giving an expert bajowski to our baggage handler? Expert bajowski? Admire the skills. I want a roast. Roger, do you even know what a roast is? Of course I do. I was a member of the Friars Club in the 60s. I drove Phyllis Diller to two of her first three abortions. She must have such regret never getting her driver's license. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have my bowling league tonight. I'm a rolling turkey tonight, S.A. <laughs> Why? Why would you do this? What, what did I ever do to any of you to make you say, 
those incredibly hurtful things. Are you serious? Does it look like I'm not serious? Who's that positive girl with you? This is Allie, my life coach. She also works at Jumbo Juice. She gave me a fiber boost, then she gave me a life boost. Shit, looking like that, she could, she could work. I got some work for her. <laughs> yep, oh boy. She has weird energy, doesn't she? No, no, she <gasps> has that's good energy. Haley, now it's Roger. Roger, can like I call that. you back? You don't have to, I'm right next to you. You didn't see me setting all this stuff up? Now we're in the same scene. <laughs> Thanks, Don, I'm done with this. Roger? What the hell are you doing in Thailand? Oh my God, it worked! Thailand, huh? I'd like three 12-year-old boys, no MSG. Usually when I see men in cages, they're kissing each other and I'm throwing pesos at them. Peso, kiss, kiss, peso. Roger, what are you doing? Signing you up for an adult literacy class. Nocturnal Petting Zoo. Get out of here! I warned you, Dugan! Dugan, there's urine in this bottle! How to do it? From Egypt to France, a big bold step called the Confidence! You're fired! You can't fire me from my own restaurant! Actually, it's all mine! The bank wouldn't lend you 50 cents! The restaurant, the truck, the napkin holders, they're all mine! But to show you I'm a good guy, I got you this. Ta-da! The perfect split. You like that? Get off my property. What can I get you, Mac? Uh, I'm meeting friends at... Can I use your crap? Get out of here! There's a bathroom in the park! The service here sucks! Have you even seen a waiter? What am I doing? This isn't helping me. If that's really from our kitchen, then you can eat the plate. With a roach on it? Oh. Oh, God. Why is he eating the plate with the roach Delicious. on it? Delicious! <laughs> now pronounce you man, fish, and wife. Now for my payment. Mother hog, hog. Pleasure doing business with you. All you need is a manager and you're on your way. I wouldn't even know where to begin to find it. Sweeps McCullough, talent manager. I used to represent every sitcom neighbor and sidekick in the 80s. I discovered Mindy Cohn, Willie Ames, the slow kid from Life Goes On. Was that a comedy? Was to me. Butterfly knife and a hustler. Thanks, Uncle Cappy. I'm not Uncle Cappy just yet. I still have to get drunk. Now I'd like to call Mr. Sugar to the stand. Guess who's the luckiest guy in the courtroom? Bert, because he gets to watch my big round ass as I walk to the stand. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Bob Danilou. I make gluten-free desserts. Not gonna lie, we're struggling at the moment. Oh my god, he is so guilty. You're voting guilty, right? You can't know he's guilty yet. Everyone's guilty of something. You're guilty of having incredibly kissable lips. Oh, they're plump and sweet like ripe cherries. I'll vote guilty if you want me to. Of course you will. But I've got a random question. Do you sell watch batteries? Get out. They're totally safe, and you look fantastic. <laughs> does liquor really do that? Like, does liquor really take an ugly person and make them hot? Farted. This guy! <laughs> Motherfucker. Hi, Sarah. Pete Pendleman, concrete man out of Sheboygan. Let's walk and talk. Roger? Damn it, it didn't work. Who's Roger? The name's Reaganomics Lamborghini, jacuzzi dealer. Want to smoke cocaine out of my pipe made from a Rubik's Cube? Ah! I remember the good old days when Twitter was just another word for late night beaver down by the creek. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks. I don't care if I. Wait! What are we doing? I want to talk about my dad! I don't even like baseball! Well, me neither. I thought you wanted to go. I'm Ace Chapman, star forward. For... Wait, does it have to be consensual sex? Yes. Okay, well then, you definitely don't want Ace. <laughs> oh, oh, don't take those. You will be conscious but paralyzed for 12 hours. Bing Cooper, sexually active high school senior. I've pulled more tail than a slow kid at a petting zoo. Have a good day at school, son. I'm already having a good day because you called me son. Now give me a kiss. Kiss me on the lips, Dad. I want that kind of relationship with you. I'll punch a child in the mouth. With you. 
Punch him in the face. You thought about it. Punch I him saw in the, it. Punch him in the face. All these people walking around without bags. Buy something. You're killing this mall. How's your pretzel? Good. I brought it from home. Hey, this feels good. Do you like it? Don't tell anyone. You'll get in trouble, too. Stop! Where's Roger? I left in the middle of the song. It turned into all gibberish, and I won't be a part of it. Hey, Ginger Scoops. I was looking at nudie mags in that field, and I need you to check me for ticks. Anything? They're tough to see. You just concentrate on being the creative force God made you and leave the rest to me. To our new business! To our new... These are a lot stronger than when I was a kid. Hey, Roger. Yeah? I'm rooting for you. I know, Steve. You always were. I knew it wasn't true. The classes, the girlfriend, the sobriety. It was all a lie. That's why I wasn't surprised to read in the paper that he had OD'd not ten seconds later. <laughs> Our next performer is new on the country scene. Give a warm welcome to Mr. Cuss Mustard! Thank you kindly. I love drinking and race cars and big old fat women. And Jesus is awesome. He rose on Thanksgiving. Ah, ah, you, I saw you. Hey, what happened to being a country singer? Oh, living the honky tonk life was too hard. I'm doing calypso dancing now. Oh, damn it, Asian. Dad, I'm gonna be late. Yeah, say, could I get that sweatshirt back from you? It looks pretty nasty out there. Maybe I could just wear it and give it back to you next time. Yeah, it's just, it's kind of my favorite, you know, from college. I'll wash it for you. I just want to wear it for a while. <sighs> it smells like us. Ugh. No, 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 no. That's the no. dude I was telling. If a girl ever does that to you inside of your room, a girl that says that to you, you can pretty much just ask her to go take a shower with you or just to take off her pants right there you about no. while we were playing army no. guys oh the weird shorts no. guy he no. comes in every weekend no. tries on all the shorts no. and never buys anything mm. where's a mirror shorts. 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 And sexy. 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 it's magnificent where did you get it Oh, I got a great deal. This limo company went out of business. Ah, oh, you know damn well I stole it. You doing the Nigerian medical student? Yep. First one in my village to pretend to become a doctor. Name's Dan Ansom Handsome. You're the most stunning woman I've ever seen. Ah, uh, I'm Scarlet. <clears throat> it's almost ready. Just need to do the final test. What did he invent, fentanyl or something? Good lord. Yes. Yes, Perfect. Indeed. Yes, my son? Roger, what are you doing? Well, you were talking so much about this, it sounded like fun. It's not, but it was a good excuse to work on my abs. And my savior bulge. Jeff, you don't do coke, do you? Cool, me neither. Quilo! Quilo, cape or no cape? Which one of you doesn't want the cape? Oh no, we both do. We're, we're just arguing about who loves them more. You won't be undersold. Try this same camcorder at Monty's for $20 less. Do you have your receipt? No, I don't have a receipt. I stole the floor model. You can't be the masked hero. I refuse to answer any questions without my lawyer present. <laughs> a bird distracted me on my backswing. It was going, geek, geek, geek. That's not my name, and it was saying it right at me. Yes, yes Mr. Mr. Vanderhill. Vanderhill. <laughs> Oh my god, you stupid bitch. Why did you drop me? I can't breathe. Why can't you do that move? You stupid bitch, I'll kill you. How long has this been here? Construction of the museum began in 1998. I should know because like Ross on Friends, I'm a docent. But unlike Ross, I don't look like a Monchichi. Somebody beat up Snot! Uh, aren't you Snot? 
I'm Barry! Stan, I might have got the wrong one. Dmitry Crutch licked me off. New exchange student from Russia. A uh, word of caution, I would refrain from sharing popcorn with a gentleman to your left, as I saw him cut a hole in the bottom of his bucket. Aha, he's kidding. Popcorn? Don't worry about the boy. He drives so smooth you can boil an egg on the engine. When we bring the car back, I'll peel the egg for you. We're not having a real conversation. <laughs> oh, you're, you're just waiting for me to finish so you can say your next thing. Freddy, you know Spencer. <laughs> oh, come on, man. You don't have to do this. <laughs> Bro, the reason why that made me laugh so much is because I feel like when I be talking to a lot of people out there, they get that notion from me. Like, yo, we're not having a real conversation, are we? You're just, you're just waiting until I stop talking so you can say your next line. Because <laughs> that's exactly what it is. <laughs> that's <date>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Facebook is all about reconnecting. Alien? Is that you, baby? Alien. Come on in. You're safe here. I will not send you back to Cuba. Ricky Smash. Ricky Smash. Motherfucker. Ricky Smash. Oh, no. Ricky no. Smash. Well, that's, that's not that bad. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Ninety-seven Toyota Camry. Only thirty-two made in the world. Jose! Sam! Sam, mon ami! Hi, I'm Christopher, and this is my adopted daughter, Opal Louise. We are having quite a day. My Prius's nickel battery is acting up, my iPhone's as dead as Farrah Fawcett, and my life partner, Michael, is at a Grey Goose event in Reykjavik. Can I use your phone? Get in my house now. This place is just what Langley Falls needs. A chic lounge environment for young professionals. If they need it so much, how come there's nobody here? I'm gonna eat you one day. Roger, what are you, no! Steve, I freaked out. Hey, babe, let's go try that weird skiing that's like this. Remind me to never take this hat off. I got everything held together up there with a chip clip. Hello there, I'm George Hamilton 20 years ago. Oh my God, I loved you. Would you like to play a set of tennis? Actually, she's with me. Oh, I see. Hey, how about we play a new game? What's in our fanny packs? I have a scorecard from my last round of golf. I shot a 206 and a half full Subway sandwich card. What's in yours? I don't think that's any of your- Zip! Ooh. Well, that's a strange thing to carry around. I like to leave mine in the toilet. And now I'm going to turn on the water and you're gonna feel a little pressure. Yeah, it's good. Real good. Mm. Uh, you can turn it up a bit. All the way. This ain't my first butt blast. What are you doing? What are you... Oh, uh, my... You know what, Ladon? Turn it down just a little. What's the matter, Franny? You look troubled. Sean Ian, I'm just going to adjust your arm to the right a bit. How does that feel? Good? Good. Okay, now I'm just going to put my thumb in your mouth. What? How does that feel? No! Good. Good. Shut it down. Pack it up. What? Of course, it's not the original Niagara Falls, which burned down in 1816. This is getting ridiculous. You want me to walk you home again? It didn't help last time. Sheesh, just trying to help the kid out. I'm gonna rape him this time. Evening, sir. I'm here for Mr. and Mrs. For display purposes only. This is not a real cell phone. God, naked men look so stupid in shoes. I do look pretty dumb. Women look hot wearing only shoes. Yeah, because they make kick-ass female stripper shoes. Meanwhile, no one's making... Male stripper, stripper shoes. shoes? My eyes! Not again! Ow! 
Ow! Ow! Ow! Look at this. What a cool biplane. Giuseppe, did you draw this? See, si, see, si, trace. I, I trace. What? I traced it. Mardi Gras, bitches! I'm having a party at my bar. I got beads aplenty, so I want to see all your tatas. Except you, Haley. You have the worst boobs. They're, they're like 90% nips, like two dark castles with tiny little moats. Damn. 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 You were smashed, man. You kept high-fiving that black guy. He was not into it. My man! Up top! My dog! Twill Bone. It's just you? Where is everybody? Hey, could you pull over for a sec? I did it! <laughs> My God, what a gorgeous trophy! And flowers? Wait, I can't hold everything. I'm gonna have my friend hold my cone. It's five in the morning. What are you doing? Why, I'm getting ready to go to the dig site. Come on, Roger. What are you really doing? Well, why don't I show you? I, I knew we had to start south, where an ancient tribe would have a fresh water source. How do you know all this? Well, hell, Francine. I'm an archaeologist. Why do you keep leaning in when I say stuff? Take off your shirt and throw it to me. It's disgusting. You got the part. No, 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 no. Eyes on me. One and two and kick and tush and kick and push and finger, 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 finger. <sighs> well, that's over. Oh, damn it. You, you following my daughter? Screw you, buddy. Get out of here, you pervert. Your weird daughter made me miss the zeros. She, she made me miss the thing. You freako! I don't know what you're talking about! Get back in your house! Get back in your damn house! Relax, people will show. I mean, we're the only game in town, right? I mean, it's not like there's anyone else in Langley Falls working their asses off to keep alive the orchestral folk traditions of Tsarist Russia! Nerd Squad, I'm Trevor. Your wife called, your TV's out. Oh, Roger, awesome! I said it's Trevor. Wait, do you really know what you're doing, or is this just a disguise? Sir, I have a family, too, that I would like to spend Thanksgiving with, so if you could just show me your TV. Sorry, Haley. I've made other dessert plans. Haley, you didn't think I was gonna let Big Wang slip through my fingers, did ya? Come on, I still got two big installs tonight, but only one more job to do if you get my drift. <laughs> Gotta watch out for them Thai ladyboys, man. Yep, it is. Wonder whose car that was. Oh. Congratulations, you just made your first million. I'm a winner, Ma! Look at me now! Now don't look for a second. <laughs> ah! <laughs> you can look again, Ma! <laughs> ah, what? I used to do hardcore and real life cocaine, but I quit that stuff hours ago. Hey, don't you judge me. I've seen your internet browser history. We're all watching Gabrielle Union's deep fakes, dang it. I wonder, is anybody else out there watching Madonna's deep fake prawns? I, I don't say anybody else because I am. <laughs> Goodness no, not trying to bust the dust because she's old. Uh, <laughs> probably got powdered milk shooting out of her. Look at me! I'm king of the Jews! Oh! No! I'm what? Okay. I landed right in the oil. It's a Hanukkah miracle. No. I, I don't know about you, but this case has put me in the mood for some cocaine. <laughs> I, I get that joke, because cocaine comes in keys, right? The leg man doesn't joke about cocaine. Cocaine is not a joking matter. Cocaine is not nothing. Whew. Clears my sinuses right up. You gonna share that crack you're doing or what? Oh! Crack. This is cold medicine. No, sir, it's crack. Uh, it's not crack. It is not crack. This is snow from the North Pole. Mrs. Claus packed for my lunch yesterday. I'll have you know. And I'd like for you to stay out of my affairs in the future going forward. Came up with that while right at the back of my anus. Ha <laughs> ha. I could be a pretty passable liar if that was what moved me in life. You know, just <laughs> nothing is real. 
I bought it on a park bench outside a soup kitchen from a guy in a lime green suit. Oh, my God, it's crack. <laughs> now, I'm going to read a list of different drugs. And, Roger, if you hear one you're not on right now, raise your hand. Cocaine, heroin, ecstasy, crack, Oxycontin, meth, steroids, cooked down Afrin, euphoria, the fake drug from 90210. Only the blood of a pure maiden will appease the crow god and ensure a bountiful corn crop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pure maiden? Me? I had sex with a guy on the truck ride over here. And who was he? He had a crow mask on. It, oh, it was him. Brown corduroys. Her talented mouth tells lies! Ah! Ah! Welcome to my talented Miata. Talented mouth. This is James. James Snot. I'm driving for Uber two-seater. And before you say that's not a thing, it's not. Way to go, James. You blew it. Kid saw right through you. Just get out. Yep. See you tomorrow, James. I know it's not a great first impression, but what do you- Now we'll never get this three-way. That's what they're thinking, not, not me. What do you think of James? Yep. What's happening? I thought we were going to train. Soon, soon. Need a little sex first. No, Hold my what? clothes yes. like your daddy used to. I won't oh. make it ten feet in this garage before I'm deep dogging a derby daisy. Is that a is a daisy a woman? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Roger. Oh my God. Okay. Wow. Can we please be grown ups about this? Because I can't. <laughs> and I've literally watched a female do that. I was totally shagging this one chick, not made up or make believe in any way, and her boyfriend came to her imaginary bedroom door and started banging on it and was like, imaginary Hillary, what are you doing in there? And she very imaginarily, by the way, yelled back, nothing, Sean, come in to the imaginary door. It's unimaginarily unlocked. And that little bit of time that he tried to imaginarily open the door, but it wouldn't open because it was locked because thank God she was smart enough to lock it, man, because... It was a, it was, it was a, it was a, it was a fight. That one, her vagina fought back and valiantly too. It was, it was like slaying a lion by unsheathing my sword and and striking between the two imaginary buttocks because I was a devout religionist back then and did not partake in a holotry. No matter how hazel her eyes was or how nice her titty meat sit upon her chest. Uh, but yeah, he, he came in and um, if you wanna listen to the entire story, I'll put the link in the description down below. But don't worry, adults out there, it's very imaginary. It's just really, really, really descriptive. You remember that hunky single guy who owns the Italian soda shop, Mario E.G.? No, we've only been here for 12 hours. We fell in love and we screwed. Bella, I love you. I must go now. Mm. Mm. But then I realized I'm a strong, independent woman. I don't need to be defined by a single man. Modern day feminism at its best. Ciao, Bella. Mio amore. Principessa. Mangia, mangia. Mio amore. Mio amore. Work on yourself, guys. Work on yourself. And that is only 60% a masturbation joke. The other 40% is uh, Gary V motivational speech. Did you sleep with all these? You were right to bring me here. Let's cream out of here. Okay. <laughs> Stan, this is Amos. Hey. Amos, it's not what it looks like. <laughs> He's dead. Oh my god. <laughs> he said he could hold his breath. I'm sorry. You are fun, Hale. There's nothing worse as a man than dying mid doggy style. It's unbecoming. Emphasis on the word coming. We're going to edit that out. Really? I'm going to kick him. Oh. Chris Angel, you freak my mind, you filthy punk. Come see my room. I'm pleased to announce the winner of this year's County Fair Pie Contest. The blue ribbon goes to... Emilou Sugarbean! Who? Oh, no. Oh, my what? stars! She ain't even fat! I've been secretly competing with both of you for years. 
What put me over the top this time? I put fruit and sugar in my pie instead of soggy napkins and gerbil meat. I also made a sizable contribution to Mayor Woodside's mouth. Yacinda and her understudy were both injured in a freak accident. Well, how are we gonna do the show without a leading lady? How many freaks were involved in the accident? I have many, many open uh, assault cases. Only against animals, though. <laughs> the humans are faster than they look. <laughs> Luckily, I met an ingenue today who knows the play by heart. Everyone meet Clashawn Montague. Diamonds, oh. diamonds, friends, and men, diamonds. Can't believe you sabotaged those girls. Really? Seems like something I would totally do. Anybody want a piece of this? Against my will? I won't accuse anyone. Okay, lady, you've had enough. I want to hear it from him. You've probably had enough. Spoiler alert, if she's talking like that, she's gonna smash you, and then when you won't immediately become her boyfriend in the morning, or that night, depending on how quick on the trigger you are, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Quickest draw in the West. The good way. Sex during that. You were too oh. big to punch. Oh. <laughs> Stan, what are you doing here? You called me. No, I didn't. Stan, I'm at shenanigans. I'm super drunk and about to get raped. Come pick me up in 45 minutes. Hey, I did call you. and I sound great. I should get voiceover work. In a world where vomit comes out of my mouth. <laughs> Ah! Ah! The wigs, they're all gone. Half of those belong to Brendan Fraser. Oh. oh, thank the stars you made it. Come here, I got you. Oh, bless you, Roger. I was afraid I... Thank God this one survived. I can still go to cowboy weddings. Lord, it's warm. Devil fought it thick today. We got what? a face full, didn't we? Edna, be a good girl. Run downstairs and give the air conditioner a kick, won't you? Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, I've spoken out of turn. Oh, no, it was your turn. I'd just spoken, and now it's my turn again. And I'm going to use that turn to do this. <laughs> it's quiet now. Just like you wanted. Edna, what have you done? What on Lucifer's black beach have you done? Where's my baby? Your baby? Oh, God, no. No! <laughs> oh, you must be the new applicants. Hi, I'm Skylar Montessori, founder of Rainbow Unicorn Gardens. We are an elite, exclusive daycare, but we strive for diversity. This one's dirt poor. It's fun. Whoa, 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 sirs, this is a daycare. Your girls are getting too old. Fortunately, my sister happens to run a girls' finishing school in this very attic. No! What is she teaching them how to finish? <laughs> my sister mentioned you'd be by. Madeline Carpel Tunnel, pleased to meet you. Back straight, girls! And remember, those books are for posture only. A literate girl is a lonely girl. Yeah, that's real. Yep, smart Great. women. My name is Ruby Zeldestein. What? I'm a medium to the other side, and I make a hell of a shoe fly pie. No. Are we no. really gonna do this? Do you have a medium character? Makes a good point. Oh, there is a presence here. A very bitter presence. The entity in this house was born specifically out of Francine's sexual frustration. Oh. I like to call it a poltergasm. What are you doing? I just drew a trademark sign with my finger, child, because I've registered the word poltergasm. Any movie scripts you write based on your experiences here, Ruby gets a slice. This house is clean. But as for those sheets... Of course, of course, of course, come in, come in. Hope you like blade? nothing, because that's what I got to hide. <laughs> hey, do you mind if we meet in the kitchen? My my fish and this uh, 
Oh, no. Little girl are trying to set a couch sitting record. You don't remember me? I'm Jean Louise Finch. You brought us some molasses one foggy morning, remember? <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> let's, let's go to the. I'm gonna win! I'm gonna win! You got it. Whoa. Oh, honey, you were so close to winning an iPod Nano. Go tell your caregiver you need more money. Roger? What? If I let her win, everybody will know there's no iPod Nanos in those boxes. Just dry dog doo doos. Well, they should be dry by now. What? I gave you five. And I gave you four quarters. Ah! No! <laughs> Dorrit bored the crap out of this auction. I That's went how you do all that. in. Had a really good feeling about this bad boy. About to find out what my 800 bones got me. Oh, yep. shit, it's all doll heads. I yep. don't need these. I already have a bunch of doll heads. I keep them down in a storage unit I quit paying for. Figured some sucker would buy it at auction. Damn it, this is my unit. Ah! But the real action happens in the back. Ah! Hi. Nope, get out. Yep, this is the place. That gentleman was nice enough to remind me I'm not allowed back there until I settle my debts. The Madison Square Garden of Bumper Pool. You're going to get to play him. Here he comes. Oh. You're a South Dakota Slim? Yep, or as my mom calls me, Justin. Where do you think you're going? I'm going to find Dad. I'm back, baby. Oh, I knew you'd come home. And I closed the big deal. Hey, ladies, you ever seen a woodpecker? Want to see mine? No, no! God damn it! This is why we should have rehearsed with a bird. Oh, here's a joke. Why can't you starve in the desert? Because of the sand that is there. What? You know, it takes guts uh, to tell a joke to a group of strangers. Especially since I'm not naturally funny. Oh, you're naturally funny? Look in! <laughs> Got him! <laughs> You can't starve in the desert. See, that's why if you're gonna be weak, you gotta at least be strong at the same time. Message. <laughs> because of the sand, which is there. Oh, sandwiches? You said sand that is. <sighs> I blew the punchline. That was what it was. Still, the setup was rock solid. I'm getting better. Santa Claus is real. And he's Jewish. <gasps> and horny. <gasps> of course. And a blue jay and a Russian spy satellite falling through the atmosphere. It struck a blimp. The blimp is out of control. The blimp is careening towards the power plant. Birds, Steve. A pigeon. The Order of the Hand and Nest is happy to welcome a new member. St. John St. John, retired maritime lawyer and avid egg collector. Ooh. Oh my god. That is nasty. Egg oh. is collected. I know you all probably need a second to reload, but I can go again. Not a brag, just a fact. The teacher here is supposed to be the most intense and demanding instructor in all of clowning and shit. It's Roger, isn't it? It's gonna be Roger. All right, Jagoffs, the name's H.J. Rimmons. Look to your left. Look to your right. By the end of the semester, 60% of you will be dead by your own hand. Oh. Yeah. That's right. I've returned as an Ip-style evil clown named Glad Hands, thirsting for revenge. That's Glad Hands with a Z. I'll haunt your every dream until finally I lure you into the depths of the sewer and to your doom. I swear to God, that reminds me of this one girl I used to date named Ashley. Ho, 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 man. Uh-huh, and how are you gonna do that then? Um, get in the sewer. <sighs> I'll level with you, Steve. I didn't think this through. I caught wind on LinkedIn of how well you were doing out here, and I, I guess I just kind of lost it. Next thing you know, I'm filing my teeth down to points and climbing into a sewer drain. I'll be straight with you, Steve. I need your help. Both financially and just, you know, to get out of the sewer. How long ago did he walk away? Oh, quite a while ago. <laughs> and you shall inherit the curse of glad hands! <laughs> 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 Ah! 
Act natural. Francine, I have an unregistered gun in the glove box. Quick, act white. Say the word officer if you want me to shoot our way out of this. Scarves! <coughs> Gesundheit. Actually, that was a cough. Ow. Epic fail! Apple pie! What the hell is that? No. No. Yeah, I got a burnt one. I don't understand. I did eat that spider. Why don't we cut away from that? It actually tasted okay. Like a hairy croissant full of blood. Fine, if it'll shut you up, we can go there after the game. Thanks, Dan. Some roadhead to celebrate? I've never mentioned what? that because I'm humble as hell. But as W. Willard Warts, I ran Adlai Stevenson's presidential bids in 52 and 56. Landslide losses. Laughed out of the beltway. Swore off politics forever. You have to run for mayor. Look at this new sign. Eisenhower sucks. Sign, but timeless message. Roger, get out of there! <laughs> Three wheels. That's the way you go. So safe. Makes way more sense. Renegade. You picked the wrong day to come in here. We got us a renegade. Mmm. 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 Fries are so good. Who's the renegade? Uh -oh. This guy? Yeah. <laughs> Please, sir, help us. Fries, 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 fries. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry, Max. Jets will take care of everything. But first, I missed a lot of elections, so I gotta vote real quick. Beep, 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 beep. What? I'm so glad you're back, Max. Me too. Up, oh, special election. Beep, 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 beep. You let him. Beep, beep. Roger, who the hell parked their van in the driveway? Oh, that's Jackie, Francine's gym friend. Oh, there's another muscle lady in the house? Yes, there is, and she's a man. Well, sort of. In pursuit of the perfect bikini front, I trained my penis to permanently recede into my body. What? How far? Out the back. It looks like he has a tail. Show yeah. him, Jackie. Francine! Out on the town, and everyone's checking out my new outfit. Excuse me. It's on. So, baby, what's your name? Black Nissan. You think I'm some car valet because of my white shirt, my bow tie, my sweet vest, my foreign accent? Oh, balls. Hold on, maybe we just go with it. Could be a great opportunity to pick up a few bucks. And a lucky break, too. I don't have a dime on me. Nothing? You told me you were paying for the evening. I see what happened here. I was lying to you, Klaus. I don't respect you. Show Bartiromo, serial killer. Yeah! Probably because you're goofing off all the time doing your personas. Goofing off? I'll have you know I got up at 4.30 this morning to get into character as Russian banana inspector a la Dewis Goof Off. Does that sound like goofing off to you? What yeah. I do matters. What I do matters too. All right, it really matters whether or not you run around all day blowing guys. That is only a very large part of what I do. Who's scorching all that copper wire? Smells great. Ah! Roger, listen to me. You need to go to a doctor right now. You could be dying. Buzz, 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 buzz. That's you. <laughs> well, on you catch the side flip. Hey, Franny, I'm back from the hot springs and feeling better than ever. And I saw a picnic table. Roger, thank God. Listen, Stan fell behind doing all your... all your personas, and then everything went to hell, and now the, n now the whole, I'm sorry, what in the living f No, no, I'll never tell anyone. Your reputation is safe with me. No. Nope. Hey, fellas, I nailed her. It was so easy. How <laughs> <laughs> are you even going to get back? With a little help from me. The name's Abby. Abby Road. And when it snows, I need to be plowed. Okay, Stan, get ready to be surprised by the amount of drugs and horrors you see, and then shocked by the amount of drugs and horrors I can do. Hi. I'm Tyler. I'm Amber. Give me waves of grain alcohol, and we'll see how purple your majesty gets. What? It's from a song. Pillow checks. 
I see you didn't bring your barber this time. I guess you'll never ask me to be your plus one! <laughs> You're fat, Helen! Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah! You always get what you want, don't you, Helen? Bravo. Truly despicable his <laughs> crimes were. In addition to the counterfeiting, he subjected illegal workers to inhumane work conditions. This man is a threat to society. He is a menace, and he must pay for his crimes. Roger's hosting Conspiracy Con in the attic. That's what's going on up there? I assume those creeps were here for a Roger sex thing. Don't beat yourself up, Stan. We're also having sex. The electro-radiation booth's running low on foil. Those guys use it for everything. The condoms hurt like hell, but I'm not ready to be a mother. Good lord. I know what happened to your son. He's in danger. Are you seriously trying to talk to me right now? Do you not understand how Grinder works? We did what we came to do, but now I'm with my family. This is my real life. You're way out of bounds. Um, I think... I think you're confusing me with someone else. See that? I crushed. God, what a high. You're cute. How about after we go wheels up, I come in there and go heels up, and you can unload your passengers at gate A. Oh, God. Well, I'm back, and it could not have gone better. Prescott and I had full and complete sex beneath the meat slicer. Steve? Steve? Huh. Nobody's here to hear my lie. You know how E.T. could make a cute little nightlight with his what? finger? Well, I slept with his puppeteer. Listen, I got VIPs here. Stop telling everyone you're an escort. Gotcha. Low key. I'm all over it. I'll circulate, but give me the signal. Two taps on the nose, and I'll come running to suck you off. Did you just do it? I blinked. <laughs> Steve? Right here? This is crazy. There's a killer on the loose. Ah! Here's 50 bucks. And you just bought yourself a ticket to stuff. But I was only paying for the blow. That was free. Oh, I've had such a wonderful night. But I hope you understand. I, I can't let you come inside. I respect that. So you can either do it on my back or my feet. Dealer's choice. What's happening? I was just about to do something really funny. I'll tell you what's happening. It's the end of the world. And we've been left behind. Oh, my God. God, the homeless guy from the bus station is hung. But I knew that. What? If he committed these crimes, then he has to pay the price. I don't know. I think about all the people he ripped off, but then I think about how funny and handsome he is, and I just want to sit on his Any girl but her. You can't keep two girls on lockdown. You already got Francine. If you want to let her go, then I'll back off Scarlet. Of course, then I'll plow Francine. I'd let him, too. Dan Handsome Handsome gives me quite the wide on. Ah. Females in the comment section down below, can you guys let me know what a wide on is? Her folks want her buried in the family plot, but she told me her final resting place should be in water. Shelby Lake was where we went on our first date. Uh, we had a picnic. As the sun set, we made love. It was awful. I just laid there. Sorry, Haley. I've made other dessert plans. Haley, you didn't think I was going to let Big Wang slip through my fingers, did you? Come on, I still got two big installs tonight, but only one more job to do, if you get my drift. What? The bar gets busy during the holidays. Maybe you could use an extra hand. You're too late, sister. I already hired college kids from the water polo team. I've got almost too many hands for jobs. What's with this Speedo, Jeremy? It's too baggy. Is it a tandem speedo for two men? No. Ah, even this is too loose. Mark, hop in here. Bing Cooper, sexually active high school senior. I've pulled more tail than a slow kid at a petting zoo. Jojo Quinoa. And just like the superfood, I'm for sale at Trader Joe's. Behind Trader Joe's. For free. She's even got time for the homeless. Time? I have sex with the homeless. You slut! <sighs> what? I say it was super relaxing being an innocent young girl for a change. Innocent? You did it with snot on the beach! Yeah, I did. Got sand all up in my Jenny dress. Not to mention my gopher hole. Oh, I mentioned it. I can't believe this. I'm married to an alien. I, 
I've been having sex with an alien. I don't see what the big deal is, Haley. Lots of people sleep with aliens. Lois Lane, Marvin the Martian's wife, every cable guy who's ever come to this house. Luckily, I know an easy way to make that happen. I've been trying to think of a way all day. Surely it can't be that easy. As a matter of fact, it is. And please stop calling me Shirley. <laughs> how, how great is the movie Airplane? <laughs> so great. <laughs> The pilot has an unnatural interest in that little boy. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't no. seem unnatural to me. <laughs> Motorcycle, does it? It sure has, Toshi, my friend. Hey, I understand Tosh. You are gonna. Well, now we can consummate There's something I must tell you. Hopefully, I'm doing the Power of the Caribbean movies. Oh, cool. Ah, the death of the drive-in. Harbinger of the slow demise of American cinema. The grand images, the big stars, where did they go? Now everyone just sits at home. Now it's all TV, TV, TV. Wait a second, I have a TV! How could I forget you, my good time gal? Who needs the damn movies? Fifteen bucks to see who's chasing Ashley Judd through the woods? Movies are dead. Yeah, I suppose heroes are just normal people who- Ow! Oh! What did you do that for? You already have the medal. I don't know. They did it in the movie. Oh! I mean, if we're gonna go for it, let's go for it. Oh! Oh my God! We've been robbed! Come on out, you thieving bastards! Dad! Haley, you were elected family gun shield at the last family meeting. You're also in charge of the Netflix queue. Just know this: I never don't want to have kindergarten cop. I got a spot where no one gonna find you. Won't hear when I make you squeal like a pig, neither. What? Nothing. Deliverance joke. Oh, poor Ned Beatty. He can, he can play Rudy's dad all he wants, but when we look at him, all we see is him getting rammed in the woods. No. Ms. Blanche, back for another concrete convention. It's been ten years and three more Gary Marshall movies. Well, after pizza, we'll retire to my treehouse, watch an 80s crab fest, say Critters or Critters 2. But you don't have to be brave, you just have to look brave for your dad. That's real. That's the beauty of movies. I snip out the part where you were a raging Nancy sissy and edit it to make you out to be the hero. You can do that? Uh, yeah, Steve. I'm a professional film editor. I can do anything. Tyler Perry's movies are actually quite good before I get my hands on them. Your name is Sven Norkvist. Here, put this wig on. I always wanted blonde hair. Do I look like Raw from The Sound of Music? Bro. Yeah, I, I don't know, kid. I think they'll go all the way to 17. 17? Ocean 17? Look, as long as that gang likes hanging out together, they're gonna keep making those pictures. I notice you call movies pictures. I do. I do do that. I'm so excited to share this both with you. This is the greatest German movie of all time. If you don't count the Hindenburg footage. And wish activate. You know, it might not be that easy. This might be one of those dealios where you gotta learn a lesson before things go back to normal. What the hell does that mean? Like in the movies. You've seen It's a Wonderful Life, right? Nope. How about Big? Uh-uh. You saw Ted? No. Really? Look, sometimes in a movie, a person thinks they want something, but then... Oh, like in the Care Bears Big Wish movie. Okay, I learned my damn lesson. Lewis has my shit and I want it back. I'm not sure you have. You're calling your family shit. I'm praying to you. I can't die. I can't die out here in the woods. <laughs> what the uh, hell are you talking uh, about? Uh, it's uh, from my favorite movie, Miller's Crossing. Bravo, Joel and Ethan Cohen. I mean, there are some proud parents, huh? Some nachas for the Coens. <sighs> we are positioned directly across the street from Clooney's hotel. Are they building a basketball court in his hotel room? Clooney has it written into all of his movie contracts. What do the Cohen brothers see in him? You see us as you want to see us. In the simplest terms, the most convenient definitions. But what we found out is that each one of us is a brain, and an athlete, and a basket case, a princess, and a criminal. Does that answer your question? Sincerely yours, The Breakfast Club. <coughs> I feel funny. <coughs> it must be the smoke inhalation. <coughs> it's killing my eyes. Ah, oh, you know what I meant to ask you? How did we get out of there? 
I, I think we did some sweet maneuvers from that movie Backdraft. I never saw Backdraft. Me either. What type of shit? Dad's not gay. Yes, he is. That's why he can't accept you, because he can't accept himself. Like Kevin Spacey. In k -Pax. Listen to me. Can you do that? Whatever you say, Stan. I'll do whatever you say. Take off your clothes. <laughs> do it. <laughs> Tere Jolie, Coco. Tere Jolie. Now take your thumb and put it in your mouth like a little schoolgirl. Damn it, Roger, we don't have time for that. Just take them off already. Fine. God, why do you hate movies? We're leaving now. Oh, are we? Looks like we got ourselves a standoff. I'm taking you to Columbia. No way. My improv team needs me, Stan. I do all the southern characters. Stan. Oh, it's happening. Oh, don't worry. That thing's always going off. Flight 718 to Columbia is overbooked. We are offering vouchers and hotel accommodations to anyone willing to fly tomorrow. You'll have to kill me to get me to Columbia. We can make that happen. I need the bathroom and you're coming with me. I'll go anywhere but Columbia. Who's in Columbia now? Oh no, my improv group! And it all went so smoothly! That's what happens when you trust your gut! <laughs> So what now? What? It was Hideki. Hideki got shot. Guess who got himself arrested? Oh, donkey balls. I knew I couldn't be without you, so I started shooting at passing cars on the highway. They didn't get me for that, though. It was a pair of batting gloves I stole from Models. What the hell? I was in over my head financially. But why my place? No one will suspect a successful restaurateur of arson, Stan. And it's spreading to mine right now. Oh, yeah. I'm going to kill you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Take it easy. You just, you just need to calm down, okay? Yeah, okay. Just relax. Roger, use your talent. Eat stuff. Tell you what, Steve, I think I'm done with acting. In fact, you could say I don't have the stomach for it anymore. <laughs> oh. 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 We're gonna smoke it out. This might take some time, so we need to be patient. Be right back. That's how you can live in any situation up. Just start shooting. Stupid mm. coconut. Oh my okay, god! Story <laughs> ideas. Now, I don't know where you worked before, but Genevieve Vavance does things a little differently. Now, pitch. How about we do a report on the corruption in the Langley light rail? Now. Uh, can we please get a bullet intern to make sure I always have bullets? We had one. We had one? What happened to her? Oh, that's right. She went back to school. She was great. She's gonna... How much? Ten bucks to see it, twenty bucks to ride. No, I meant for the oranges. Not for sale, bitch! Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, I'll see it. What are you doing? Showing you my butt. What? You thought those were ding-dong prices? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Hey, Steve, I'm just telling a few people. I'm making belt buckles now if you want to buy one. Check it out! He's got red eyes from smoking weed. There's no I really can't believe you're an educator, Brian. My job's mostly administrative. <laughs> Doing a great job, Francine. Oh, hi, Steve. How are you? Yeah, what? It's Steve's hallway. Oh, my God. That guy hit the super smart Indian girl who skipped several grades. How could he hit a girl? That's nice. Oh, uh, poor Reshma. That girl's nice to everyone. Hey, what's going on out here? This guy hit Reshma. Yes! <laughs> yeah. Who wants to see me pee on this cake? <laughs> yeah! 
my superintendent. Blast my Buddha belly. <laughs> Sweet, you killed my master. Now you die. Cake, cake, pie, brownie. Cookie, 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 cookie. Hasn't peed on any cakes and hasn't challenged a dog to a fist fight in days. Yep. That progress. Oh, I'll fight a dog too. So go on. Do what you were born to do. Go punch that dog in the face. Hmm? You're a good friend. Hoots, it's time for me to do what I do best, and that's whatever I want all the time. Mm. Wow, he just takes what he wants, doesn't he? Eve, I want you to be our new announcer. Me? Uh, thank you, sir. Here's your trophy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Can you imagine if you got this big ass trophy just for announcing? <laughs> no, no, a trophy like this is for when you star in over 40 adult films in under two months. Mama. That's how you get a trophy like this, son. This is Phyllis. She just moved here from Hoboken. I'd like you all to give her a warm welcome. Now, I'm not referring to the sexual position, the warm welcome, of which I am the inventor. The basic nature of the move is, oh, never mind, you're only long enough. Ah, uh, damn kids! <sighs> Sometimes I think I should have just stayed in Peru, moving coke. Machado was a cold bastard, but he was good to his men. And once you drew blood for him, you were set. Hooch! Blow! Girls! <laughs> Not women! Girls! Little bitty things. Brian! <laughs> yep. That's what happens. Doesn't mean you know everything about everything the wars! End of days! Pictures! <laughs> well? Who puts the bath into bath, my best alto? Who gives the road that makes Barry very uh. baritone? Yes, it's me. Now, Smith, take these PEDs. You have to for the good of the whole team. Yeah. So? I don't care about this place. It's about you! Call oh, the cops. Morning, Stan. Here to inaugurate the new hydrant? Well, better christen it with my fire hose. Principal Lewis! Are you excited or terrified? I have to decide whether I'm joking or not. All right, boys, time to have a little fun with the winnings. Gentlemen, we're gonna see boob. Afraid not. I'd like to bring you boys in there. I really would. But the only 14-year-olds allowed in there are performing on stage. Yeah, the dancers. Ah! Alfred Hitchcock! Good tale here tonight, Brian. When we come back, local strongman Brian Lewis. <laughs> My strength comes from above! Ew, why are those dudes doing it on the wall? Oh, good. You're all here. I hate to break it to you, but you have a moisture problem in your vents. Is there moisture in the vents? Is that nasty? I don't get it. I don't understand. Now, I can give you an estimate for the work based on hi -ya! Oh! Come on, go, go, go! We got the dagger! What's Jeff that? Run, run, run! Can't just kick people Boys, in the penis? Boys, all of your training has been leading to this moment. Yes. Except for the three months I wasted trying to teach you English. Oh! Go! That and wasn't laughter! One, I scraped on a rock, but it doesn't hurt. Sir, I'm picking up something on the radar. Oh! Yeah! Okay, my son wants a war. Let's give it to him. How does he know that's his son? Yo! Yo! Oh, okay. We good. Oh, wait. Okay, no, we good again. Oh, Persona! shit! We still have the steam room, but I prefer dry heat. Oh. If you're just tuning in now, things are really heating up. Damn, Both teams so have good. almost completely checked out of their hotels. That's right. And with three hours until the coin toss, it is still anybody's game. Hmm. What's wrong, man? Francine's parents are coming. They're totally gonna ruin the Thanksgiving I had planned. They're here. Oh, this is gonna suck. I got it! Ah, your Chinese gibber is very mediocre. Either really learn language or go broader. 
Just so you know, there's going to be football on today. Oh, I don't expect you to understand. It's an American thing. You got to USA. 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 Ooh, Come on, buddy. You got to join me, or I look like a total jerk. Away. USA. USA. Put your Gucci Man, away. That's I, all I'm asking. I want to, but I, I don't know the words. I'm just asking if he could put his Gucci away. I don't mind if he chants. I don't wow, care about the music. Last night was our best take ever. Way to go, little bro. Right back at fentanyl? you, big sis. I knew it. I knew fentanyl? I could find the kitchen blindfolded. Boy, do I know this house. Uh, hey, hey, Dad. What's new? I've just been handed a very important case. Some master forger named Gutenberg is making fake IDs. The best I've ever seen. That's right. He should be as nervous as you two look right now. All I have to do is bait the trap. And he may be a master forger, but I am a master bait. Whoa, ho, ho. Whoa, ho. that was close. Almost masturbated myself there. Not in front of people. At least not in front of people, I bro. really appreciate you doing my homework for me, Steve. Oh, I should be thanking you. I never knew how beautiful the French language was until I had to learn it to do your homework. Merci. Oh Sometimes I feel like I should be doing my own homework, but uh, then I'm like, nah. Did you like my story? Oh, uh, that's my boyfriend, Figus. He says he wants to fund me in his dad's tool shed. What does that mean? Uh, pretty sure that's his autocorrect. Oh, that explains why his ditch pic looks like this. <laughs> Quit looking at my ditch, nerd. Ah, there you are, silly. Don't show me no balls, Yeah. Bitch. Coach says I got to break up with you so I can focus on football. <laughs> Did you do it? Yes, sir. Good. Because you players won't look up to me if you're having sex and I'm not. <laughs> what house am I sleeping at? Yo! <laughs> Don't let these hoes. So, oh, lesbians? My, lesbians. Want, who has the penis? Is is it real? This is... I mean, I... Don't, don't, don't do that. I, I don't feel confident there. Let me do this. <coughs> oh, my God. Hey, no. Ow, ow. Stan, no. what are you doing? I don't know, you but gotta... it feels like we're trying to make a fire. Is it a good way? This is isn't it... working. Is well, it a... until the CIA fixes you, I guess sex is off the table. Is it a, is it a sexy fire? we are not lesbians. We should tell the kids. Kids, we are not lesbians. You blow... We tried, but it was a no-go. Please stop involving her... me in this. I am a child! You gotta blow into her vagina. What are you spying on them for, bro? Okay, I'll let you that this problem. I don't get it. I don't get it. Only a dollar. Only a dollar. Never more than a dollar. No! No, now they gotta give me the dollar. You gotta give me the... Oh! Oh, God! He's... Oh, God! He's... Oh, he's dirty Damn winding. It. If Francine finds out I crashed because I was rubbernecking, I'm a dead man. What is ah, a rubberneck? My back hurts. And I used to have a great back. What the hell were you looking at? Were you sucking yourself? Uh, uh, nothing. I must have lingered on a blink. What is a rubberneck? Are you okay? Do you need help? Get out of here! You've done enough! Motherfucker, what? Nice. Damn. That's... I hate working at that store. Steve just bosses me around. The only good thing is that the stock boys are teaching me Spanish. So that's pretty Cayete gringo. Dad, why on earth did you make me take all of our spare light bulbs out of their boxes? Stan, is this just to get back at Steve for bossing you around at the store? Are you yes. accusing me of being vindictive, Francine? Yes. Because I will destroy you. Oh. Besides, there's a reason I'm making him do all these things. Now take off your shoes and sweep up that glass. Take off my what? shoes? Take them off. It's a fetish. Oh, you're in for it tomorrow, mister. The oh. regional manager's coming for our review, and I'm going to be busting your ass all day. I'll just call in sick. I'll tell them you're faking, and you'll get fired. Then how will you support your woman? How will you keep her glowing in such finery? <sighs> Officer, That's real. please, find our baby boy. We're doing everything we can with the evidence we have, which is no evidence. But we will, uh, find him? We'll keep you posted. Huh? Whoa, oh, we'll, monkey I'll... holding a banana? So many beanie babies here I haven't seen before. I'll update you Francine, on Facebook. look at this one. It's a bear in a bunny costume. 
I'll what are you doing in a bunny costume, Bear? I'll I'm here with Twitter. the parents, Stan and Francine Smith. Do you folks have a statement? I just want my baby to come home. Of course you do. But I'd let yourself want other things, too. I mean, we're at a vigil. It's not like you have those when things are going great. <laughs> if you'll excuse me, I have to go comfort my wife now. I bet a beanie baby would cheer her up. Like this one. She might like this one. No, oh, this one reminds like me of those. Abigail Breslin. What is that? Not Abigail so much the way Breslin. it looks, but it's energy. It's not moving. Is that the energy of the? Oh, poor homeless. And so fluffy. the Great Wall rose. It's a and homeless family furry. Land was thrown Ooh. into chaos. Oh snap! Why are you dressed like a furry? And the people lost all semblance of civilization. Don't run from the women. How else will you have sex with them? Oh shit! Get on! It's my people. Resources were scarce, people. and tempers really, flared as the kingdom really? hovered on the wow. brink of war. Ew! Butt stuff. Wow! Oh, hello, gorgeous. Yeah. Ew, what are you doing? Yeah, what? You doing too I'm, much. I'm kissing my woman. You know, Steve, you're doing too much. I like the perks of dating the school no. president, but I'm not gonna kiss you. Yep. I mean, I'm beautiful, and you're repulsive. Mm. But, but I thought you liked me. Yeah. You were supposed to. Yeah, you're supposed to like her for her vagina, but you started loving her instead. I am stressing out, Steve. My company just announced they're no longer matching our 401ks. Are they? A doctor gave me a promotional stress ball. As if fidgeting with some dumb ball will take the weight of the world off my shoulders. Actually, it's helping a lot. It works for women. Whatever, Roger. Works for it's women. not just Real got good. his heart broken, and I have to cheer him up. Hey. Actually, maybe you could balls, help. Takes you know, all put, put together a teenage girl disguise. Laughing at yeah, jokes, saying, smile, back. twirl your hair a little. Like a bitch, build his like confidence. Oh, no, no, I can't just switch back personas like that. Good, like See, mad, sometimes just, certain characters just, like, just oh, grab a hold of you. Gosh. And brother, they set up shop in the depths all, of your soul. Just, you get to go to Forever 21. What happened? Why are these naked? Give me that fruit. It's racist. What do we... How much? Ten bucks to see it, twenty bucks to ride. No, I meant for the oranges. Say what you will about Principal Shepard, but that's the fairest price I've ever heard from a black guy selling Ding Dong. That's real. I am not going to discuss my prices. Not for sale, bitch! Sell, bitch! All right, I'll see it. What are you doing? Showing you my butt. What? You thought those were ding dong prices? It's a hundred to see Beavis. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. It's a hundred to see Beavis, bitch. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna edit that out. We're gonna edit that out. That, that's bad. I don't do I don't do that stuff. Oh my god, what happened to you? Oh, I got in a car accident, Francine, but don't worry. Luckily I've had enough time to remember the exact truth of what happened. So, that, we're right the behind truth? the butter shelves. The butter shelves? Whoa! How long has this place been here? Get your jaw off the floor and start stocking. And don't let the butter sit on the ground too long, because the fridge has put out some major heat. Got it? It won't fit. You gotta take it out of the crate, dummy. Then you make it fit. Lay the butter like bricks, with the labels facing out. Got it? Yeah, I got it. Oh. I earned a break. I'll be napping in the blood pressure chair. Oh. What's this? Oh, sorry. No, start over and do it right. What? Mm. Oh, oh. poor mentally disabled man. I'm not mentally disabled. Well, you don't know how to stack butter, so... I showed him how to stock the butter, and he did it wrong on purpose. He got me fired! But he still has his job, right? I can keep my finery? You! You have a lot of nerves showing your face here! You're right to be mad, Steve. And it's worse than you think. I got you fired, and now it's on your permanent record. Good lord. My future. He's gonna be riding the rails, Stan! His future as a butter stacker. It's come to our attention that your son's run out of options. The army will take him. Get out of here, you damn vulture. <laughs> Thank you for your sir. Wow, they are on top of stuff. Come on, let's find yours. You got to do the Jehovah's Witnesses like that. You know what I mean? 
Open up the door, try Here it is. Tell you that God is a woman now. I was Fired like, Whoa. from grocery store for incompetent management. Don't worry, we'll fix that. They came to my door with that bullshit like a week and a half ago. Did you know that God is a and lady it now? Was totally not God Steve's is a woman. fault. If you there. read this pamphlet, now, if you do not, you just read Steve this pamphlet. Smith and, lost and his virginity after a romantic candlelight dinner on the beach. Lost virginity. He suggested taking things slow, but she was voracious yep. with an unquenchable sex That's thirst. That's what I'm talking and about. And he did a good job. Solid. I mean, now let's I get out of here. Freeze. You better I money. rented this cabin for the next week. You sure you'll be okay? Of course, I'll be fine. Jeez, Steve, four gallons of Lubriderm? You try living with eczema. What? All right, time to report a disappearance. Hello? Genevieve? It's Haley. I think I have your story. My little brother has gone missing. Gone. Steve is missing? Oh. How horrible for him. That's horrible. But fantastic for us. We can make this national news. Can't make that news yet. They said I wasn't good enough for television. World How do you like me now, voices in my head? What? <laughs> There's no pleasing you guys. Duh. No, not you, Mark. You're always super positive. You must be a woman. <laughs> Great There's no work, pleasing Haley. you voices in my head. just what I needed. I know, but I feel <laughs> awful. My mom is devastated. Well, yeah, her little baby's missing. Uh, that's the thing. He's... He's not really missing. I I kind of staged the whole thing. Oh my God, Haley! Yep. You're a journalist. Journalist. What? Yep. Sure. We don't Genius. report the news. We make it. Accuracy is so time-consuming. Fiction is the new fact. Roger, these people need to know that Steve isn't missing. Okay, I gotta come clean on this. You know what else has to come clean? Garbage Island. Don't you still want to do your report? Of course I do. But ah, uh, my mom, she's so torn up. Look, just let this <sighs> ride for Should one more right? day. All right? Besides, the more popular this story gets, the more viewers we'll have for your bummer piece on Garbage Island. <sighs> Fine. One more day. All right, I'm going to take a lap. It's super easy to take people's wallets while take they're crying. Lap. And we're back. You can't I'm here great. tonight with Stan and Francine Smith, heartbroken parents of America's missing son, Steve Smith. Stan? Francine? Why did you murder your son? What? Oh. Not ready to confess? Let's look at some statistics. 100% of the time a child goes missing, the parents did it. Legally not a fact. Is it? What are you talking about? And where'd you hide the body? We didn't hide the body. So you admit there's a body. Why are you doing this? I'm sorry, it's been a long week. Emotions are running wild. Can I get you something? A beer water, perhaps? No, thanks. That stuff gives me diarrhea. What's a beer water? Stan, hey. are you close with your son? No, but that doesn't mean I murdered him. Interesting. Can we play that back? I murdered him. <laughs> you son of a bitch! Oh! We have to take a break. Oh! oh. Get out of town, you Jezebel! <laughs> you know, Steve's dog would still be alive if you right-wing lunatics would agree to gun control. You know what I have to say to that? Oh, I thought I was gonna fart. This sucks. Now I'm never gonna get a girl. Wait a minute. Oh, Is no, that why bro, you wanted the dog? Go to yes, Craigslist. Sir. Well, son, you, you don't need a dog when your old dog? dad is the greatest ladies' man of all time. Come on. He was gonna have sex with the dog in place of a girl? No. Hey, Jack. hey, babe. Some guy at the restaurant sent his meatloaf back because there was a hair in it, but it's cool because it was mine. Picnic in the park? I can't. I have this paper due. Bummer. Well, you know what Shakespeare said. I mean, I don't, but I'm sure you do. Ah! Killing with Jeff sounds like fun. Yeah, but this is due tomorrow. Listen, Haley Kins, obviously I can't leave the house, but if you supply me with Twinkies, Ho-Hos, you know, any of your basic white trash food stuffs that your freaking mother won't let me have, I'll write your paper for you. What do you know about crime and punishment? You mean besides the fact that the suffering of man is both necessary and useful, which is revealed to us during Raskolnikov's redemption? Nothing. You got a deal. Oh! Sorry about that. <laughs> Once every seven hours, Mother like clockwork. Hey, what is this? No! 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 What the fuck? Man, white people don't! White people stop! White people stop! Nigga. 
Oh, you gotta not do this, white people. Nigga! Come on, bro! No. See? See? It's not all women's fault. And dudes wonder why they don't, females ain't busting it open. Not, are you okay? I almost didn't make it to school. Oh no, Jenny. What did she do? Oh, Steve! We went to Taco King, and then we rode the Ferris wheel, and then we went to the beach and stayed up all night talking about our hopes and dreams. Gay! Then I f***ed her! I finally did it, man! You what? I'm not a virgin anymore! Yo! Yo, that's the celebration! What oh, the hell? Damn it, Asian! This is not my fault, Stan. I was texting. Dad, I'm gonna be late! Look, I, I, I don't have time for this. I have to get this kid to soccer practice and then... Oh! Back problems, huh? Come on, I'm gonna get you fixed up. Well, I guess it's up to me to get to soccer practice. <laughs> oh! Ah! Ah! Oh! Ooh. 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 According to prison rules, I became Lewis's bitch after he beat up my previous husband. After that, we had three years of wedded bliss. We shared a home, a job, and some excellent toilet wine. But that was years ago. Toilet prison wine. rules are serious. We follow them till we die. It took me 15 years to find you, Big Lou. And I'm never leaving you again, ever, forever! Get out of here, Tracy. I don't need this now. I finally got my life on track. I say cocaine now. This is all your fault. Don't let him ruin my wedding. Hey, it's our wedding. Don't, don't worry, I'll, I'll fix this. Right, you gotten fat on me. Small for me to Zerbert! Ah! I brought my brown beach ball. Mother... Oh. That punch right there, that's the punch where everything went black and I was finally able to achieve orgasm. Oh boy. Oh. Yep, there it is. I've been excommunicated. What? A man without his religion is nothing. Excommunicated from what? Dad, if religion's so important to you, why don't you just find another one? You mean change religions? Sure, <laughs> people do it all the time. Muhammad Ali changed religions and became Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I don't want another religion. Mace I want change. my religion. Mace I know, religions. honey. But the thing is, you already kind of screwed yourself there. Here we are, the epicenter of drunk girls. Yeah, drunk chicks. They want to be close to the booze at all times. Oh, God, they really do. I don't really know do. if I can do this, Roger. Hey, do you want to be the alpha male of the house or not? Okay, okay. But, but how do I approach them? What, what do I say? Just say the three sweet words they long to hear. Jello shot, bitch. They love it. Yep. Jello shot, bitch. Jello shot? Bitch. Bitch? <laughs> Make it happen, Steve. Ah! <sighs> Freddy, I can't find Steve. I haven't seen him since you introduced us. This is all your fault, Frederick. You were his approved friend. You're supposed to watch out for him when I'm not around. Oh. You're supposed to. <laughs> Don't do that, man. No, fuck. Look, Steve left because you smother him. I'm a good kid because my parents allow me the freedom to be myself. Can you imagine how nervous they must have been when I said I was hanging out with you? I suppose I am a dangerous, aggressive stranger. They let me make my own mistakes, but I know they're always there when I need them. Damn it, Freddy. I've been a fool. It's not enough to love your kid. You have to love him the right way. I know what I have to do. I just hope I can find Steve in time. Well, I'm glad. Be glad about that. What type of shit? Yes, no my son. Back. Roger, what are you doing? While well, you were talking so much about this, it sounded like fun. It's not, but it was a good excuse to work on my abs. Oh. And my savior bulge. This is sacrilege. You have no respect for this religion. Hey, could you take it down a notch? You're ruining my buzz. You're drunk? Hell yeah, man. That's yeah. it. Ooh. You're ugly. <laughs>
We've just received a disturbing report that a local man has been kidnapped by radical Occupy protesters and subjected to heaven knows what. Journalistic ethics prevent us from releasing the man's name, but between you and me, it's Stan Smith. Oh. Stan? Daddy? Dad? Ow! Hang now. We are a radical arm of the Occupy movement. We have several demands. The rich should give their money to the poor. Then the new rich should give their money to the new poor. And then they should go round and round like the the sneeches? It's already like that. Is that what that is? Also, there should be a one-year waiting period to get a gun. And at the end of that year, you don't get a gun. Witnesses report that the victim stood out because he was wearing mirrored narc shades. Oh, my God. I told Dad to wear those sunglasses. This is all my fault. Yep. Well, then you better just hope he doesn't get out of there alive. Oh. Mr. Smith, my name is Heinrich Brown. Okay. I'm from your insurance company, and I'm here to review the details of your accident. Anyway, I was hoping to talk to you about exactly how your accident went down. Of course. Of, co of course. Come in. Come in. Hope you like nothing, because that's what I got to hide. <laughs> hey, do you mind if we meet in the kitchen? My, my fish and this uh, little girl are trying to set a couch-sitting record. You don't remember me? I'm Jean Louise Finch. You brought us some molasses one foggy morning, remember? Today was awful. Someone spray-painted Steve Smith thinks vaginas suck on my locker. So what? People think you're gay. <laughs> I wish. No one thinks I'm sexual at all because of the stupid question I asked in class. My day was worse. My new boss is Roger. I, I wanted to make a difference in the world, but he just wants a missing kid to sensationalize. Missing kids are so lucky. I'd kill to disappear right now. Wait a minute. What if you did disappear? What do you mean? Yeah, yeah. We pretend you were kidnapped, and we hide you away for a week. Roger gets his missing person story, and then I get to do my expose on Garbage Island. That's great! By the time I get back, everyone will have forgotten all about my ignorance of the fairer sex. I'm not as concerned about what you're getting out of it, but sure. Do you want to see me dance, sire? No, not really. No. Are you sure? Because it looks something like this. Zuzu, 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 zuzu. Off with his head, nigga. You disrupted Murder. the king's pleasurable Murder. dance. Guards, kill him. Kill it's you. Fine. Let him speak. Kill him later. Got it. My king, I've returned from my raid on Fairy Tale Land. I bring you churros. Churros to last a week. <clears throat> These are days old, and you've brought no dipping sauce. Can we kill him now? I don't want you to think it's the only thing I'm focused on, but it's all I can think about. Mm. Oh, Haley, you are the best. Mm. Oh, what else we got here? Chocodiles. Haven't tried those. Oh. oh. Oh, my God, how good are these? Ah, uh, mm, 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 dangerous. Mm. How's my paper coming, Roger? You know, it's due tomorrow morning. Got it under control, Haley. Do not worry. Okay. Oh, by the way, Haley, oh my God. These chocodiles, these chocodiles, Haley, oh my God. These chocodiles, oh my God. Um, yeah, they're good. Back to work. I'm on it. Oh boy. There it is. Yep. Don't <sighs> sleep eating poop. Oh no, Haley! Pooping yeah, it's been that kind of weak girlfriend, but, uh, hey, TGI hump day, huh? Roger, who are you talking to? Tammy, down at Mincer Escrow. We're phone buddies. Did you copy those title reports? Tams, I gotta go. Yeah, the boss is being a real catch you next Tuesday. Stan, the man is back. Here you go. Just my little way of saying you can keep your little job. A diamond ring? I also got you a mink stole. Oh, my God! But, Stan, can we afford this? Well, you can't, but I can. But how did you get... Shh, shh, smile for Leroy Neiman. He's painting us right now. That's Leroy Neiman? I know. I thought he was black, too. Hey, old lady! Party! <laughs> wow. This is upstanding conservative to dirty liberal. Drop point ahead. Can you check the back tire? The car is riding kind of low. What the hell? You crazy bitch! I love you! You got me! I'll check the transformer, Mikey. You're buying the beers after this, right? Can't do it, pal. 
I gotta work on my toast for your wedding. Jim, look! Behind this bush, there's a turd made of solid gold. And it's studded with diamonds and gems. We're rich, Jim. Rich! All of our dreams are gonna come true! Oh my god! <coughs> what type of shit? <coughs> what? <coughs> what did he do? State secrets to a terrorist? Freedom fighter? Smith, until you get your head in the game, I'm suspending you without pay. Clean out your desk and leave immediately. Janet, when's my next appointment? Not for two hours, sir. Excellent. All day up this ladder, I'm as happy as can be. Ting, 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 yeah, ting, the things I shouldn't see. Oh, the blushing bride looks divine, the bridegroom, he is doing fine. I'd rather have his job than mine when I'm cleaning windows all day up this ladder. Hey, I'm going in. You cover me. Wait, what am I doing? I'm a man of the law. I'm going to handle this my way. Shoot him! Shoot him in the face! <laughs> <laughs> Can't this turn some people on. I'll get the ice cream a la mode. Uh, blood for oil. Uh, sounds like somebody needs their after dinner walk. Steve, help me put your sister in the pit of no return. We'll be right back. Hey, Jeffy boy, what up, man? A little moonlight stroll? Mr. S. Why are you out so late? Collecting critters. Dr. Weitzman needs animals for a new experiment he's doing at the CIA. The agent that brings in the most gets to go to McDonald's in a limo. Whoa. Say, Roger was helping me, but he quit on me. Got bit trying to nab a copperhead snake and just went straight to the emergency room like a quitter. You want to help me out? Mr. S., can I talk to you about something? Not if I turn on the radio. <gasps> Critter! This way or that is made possible by the Arthur and Elaine T. McKinnon Foundation. Get back here, you little... Creating a brighter generation through the power of public radio. You're coming with me. And smutpile.com. Check smutpile? it out. Stray dog. Can you change the station? This ah! is that Johannes Grunge ah! Schniff Schnaff lady Haley ah! loves so much. Where's your dad? And then I saw another guy last week that was like 6'4". I don't know if I'm just lucky or if it's something about the store, but I always see really tall guys at Home Depot. Smith? This nigga just stole his <laughs> Oh, stray dog! You motherfucker! <laughs> Where's the doll? Oh, oh my god, I totally forgot I had it. Uh, senior moment. <laughs> I, I think the problem is that I don't care about that amazing doll at all. I'll bring it in tomorrow. Sorry about the, uh... Brain fart. Good Why? fart noise. Smith. Why is he na naked on the on the window? So I told our joke at oh, I oh. worked today and everybody laughed. What the hell, Stan? I'm out. Moving to Chicago. Gonna prove the haters wrong. What about work? I told Bullock that when I was young, I dreamt of being a comedian and how I chickened out. He instantly granted me regret leave, which was a surprise considering we're basically getting ass slammed by China around the clock. Why don't you just take an improv class at the Learning Attic? Why would I listen to anything you have to say? You're my number one hater. You've never supported my comedy. Come on, is this real? How long do you plan to be gone? As long as it takes. Maybe even longer. <laughs> Goodbye, Francine. Let me know how the kids turn out. Hey, where are you going? I was gonna put the shoes to your mom again later. Wanna make sure you're around to catch the show. Oh. Come on, Roger. I'm gonna grab a snack from the kitchen and then we'll get out of here. No, I'm done feeding on this sandwich. You can eat my leftovers. The lesser males get the scraps. Come on, Steve, don't dignify that with a response. It's no good, Steve. Nothing's gonna cheer me up. What the f- You gonna you just use say? that street lamp or just lean on it? 
You! Snot, please hear me out. Yes, I tricked you with a stress ball, and it was a rotten thing to do. Extra rotten, if you ask me. I know. But I did it because I was saving myself for someone I loved. And I've realized that that someone is you. I want to do it for real tonight. What do you say? Make love to me again. For the first time. Depends on how much money she's paying. Uh -huh. I'm not Come here, home, you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, Snot. You're the man again. Until tonight, my love. No! No! Oh. Hello? Dad, you guys have to come home. Roger got Principal Lewis fired, and now he's trying to make me hang out with this nerdy kid named Freddy! Son, your mother and I are on vacation. Steve, it's your mom. Frankly, I'm glad Roger got Principal Lewis fired. Your friendship with him was getting weird. I wanted to say something about it, but I was scared you might tell me that you two were lovers. Now stop complaining and go to sleep. Should be bedtime back there. Yeah. For babies. You're a oh. baby. Oh. Is everything okay, Jeff? You, you cried a lot more than usual during sex this morning. Oh, sorry, babe. I have a lot on my mind. I've been thinking a lot, and I think we should have a baby. What? What the? Yeah, fuck? we have so much love to give. Plus, no. sometimes I feel broken inside, and having a baby fixes everything. No. Jeff, I don't want to have kids. I have no have maternal instincts. Mm -mm. I only have animal instincts. Eating, pooping, lying down before it rains. No maternal instincts. That's sexy. Wake up, G-Man. It's time to hear the truth. And the most efficient way to convey that truth? Poetry slam. Death on 9-11. Unhealthy food in 7-Eleven. Instagram? No, thank you, ma'am. Television news is society's bruise. Makes me want to drink booze because nobody's nerfed. That shit hurt. Hello. I'm Ira Glass. suck after a while. Today on This American Life, we have a story about a dog. And like most dogs, this dog has an owner. But here's the thing. This dog's owner also happens to be a dog. Why is he pausing? Doesn't he know what he wants to say next? Doesn't he have it written down right in front of him? Ah! You see, I was driving responsibly with my eyes on the road when a dog jumped out. I saved his life by swerving. He made eye contact as he ran away. No words exchanged. He wasn't a talking dog. But in that moment... I knew he thought me a hero. Well, come on. With a head trauma like this, you should get right into bed. It's like they say, starve a fever, sleep a concussion. Okay, story ideas. Now, I don't know where you worked before, but Genevieve Vavance does things a little differently. Now, pitch. How about we do a report on the corruption in the Langley light rail? Now... Uh, can we please get a bullet intern to make sure I always have bullets? We had one. We had one? What happened to her? Oh, that's right. She went back to school. She was great. She's going to do great things. Well, I want to do an expose about Garbage Island. It's a giant mass of trash polluting the Pacific Ocean. You know what's garbage? That story. Come on, I need something juicy to boost my ratings. I need a serial killer priest. I need a vegetarian cop. I need a senator cheating on his wife with a bagel. Oh. Ah! Ooh, shit. All of you, get out there and find me my John Bonet Ramsey. You know how hard it's gonna be to find a fucking Roger's bagel. Roger's been playing that on a loop all day. Time to teach him a trip, lesson. Trip, Let's uh, ride. E -dip -o, trip. 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 Can I help you with something? Balls. You know why I'm here. You've been playing that jingle day and night. I can't hear my piano bear. Sure, Stan. I'll happily shut the music off. If you give me half your supply of tripping balls. Yeah, right. I'll give you a little time to reconsider my offer. But know that if you refuse, the music will never stop. What a dick. Have you had time to reconsider? 
Oops, we overshot. Hold on. Let, let me get this to back up. Excuse me, can you back me up a bit? Ah, there's no reverse on this thing. We're gonna have to do another full rotation. Sit tight, Standy. Smith, what's the meaning of this? Principal Lewis, I'm taking your office. Pursuant to Pearl Bailey High Statute 39F, quote, the student body president may acquisition any room on school premises for the purpose of conducting school business. Mm. You can read! The system works! Uh, I'll be back for my stuff. Read? <laughs> what's that You're amazing, stuff? Steve. I'm gonna go tell everyone we're going out. Oh, uh, we ain't gonna this do all it. that, man. I have absolute power. Doris, could you please send in our high school mascot? Welcome, Buffalo. As you must have heard, I've been elected student body president. As such, I can do anything I want. And I want to ride the Buffalo! Whoa! Oh, my God! Yes! Yes, I'm riding the Buffalo! Now send in the lunch lady. Okay, I want this to be a class act. I'll introduce you both, you'll shake hands, and then I'll throw raw meat on the floor, and whoever beats the crap out of the other one gets to eat. Dad, you Love were it. supposed to shut this down. You're degrading these poor men. That's ridiculous. I'm giving them jobs and self-esteem. More importantly, I'm giving them costumes and a backstory. This is the garbage collector. He's got his own catchphrase. I'm taking out the trash and sorting it. And this guy, this guy, he grew up in the bayou, living with alligators, wrestling with alligators. I call him the Aviator. Yep. Fight night's already sold out. I set up a ring, fans can make bets. I even put out some nice mixed nuts. No! Those are for people. I can't ah! believe you messed with your own son. You stink, Dad. Oh, come on. What's more important, your hopes and dreams or me making more than your mother? This is pure exploitation. I'm going to tell Mom. Go ahead. Then your homeless pals will be right back on the street where the nights are cold and the fights are meatless. This isn't over. The fights are meatless. No! Huh, Those who are, are you? for people! Uh, Haley, your new roommate. Oh, right. I must have blacked out. Wait a second. You party? Totally. I need a shower. Great Grizzly Adams, who fired the gardener? Unbelievable. How did she ever hook up with a stiff like Dad? Let him go, Stan. It's been a fun ride, but it's over. Come on, Francie. Not this old routine. You know, you pull a gun, I pretend I'm gonna do what you want. Then I pull out my gun. We do our little John Woo standoff. Inevitably, your arm gets tired. Then you drop your gun, and we have nobody got shot sex. Uh. Hey, hey, where, where are you going? Francine? Well, why'd you pull a gun on me if you didn't want to have sex? Oh, my God, a movie projector! Is there anything more magical than movies? Wait, there's no movies. It's like having the world's biggest wine cooler and no girls from New Jersey. Hey, what are you doing with my dad's movie projector? If I'm living in a storage unit so he can buy 20 cars, I'm gonna get something out of it. Get something out of it? Cars? Yes! The girls would go crazy over these cars! That's it! Hey, Algernon, what's wrong with you? Can't you get an idea without saying it out loud? So, like, can you make Tony Blair do whatever you want? Like, like if you told him to eat a bug, he'd have to eat a bug? Like, any type of bug? Like a, like a bug with a lot of legs? <laughs> That's right, Stan. <laughs> wow! Wait just one minute. <gasps> you were thinking about the nudist Smarty Pants boyfriend! Jeff, I love you. I just, I can't even remember the last time we had an intelligent conversation about anything. We talked for hours about Mad Men. Because I had to keep explaining that you didn't have to be scared because the men weren't mad at you. Well, maybe you should watch it with Narco. Marco. Polo! Oh my god, why are you so dumb? <laughs> Jeff, I'm sorry. I, I just got frustrated. Where are you going? Out! Jeff, those are my pants. No one cares about my problems. Oh! I forgot you were up there. Just like Jackson forgot to invite me to his jazz party. Or maybe it was on purpose. This is ridiculous. I'm talking to a doll. A little dark in there. Now I see on Instagram, Hooper is having a bluegrass thing right now. He wanted me to see it. He tagged me. I'm acting like a crazy person. You can't hear me through that box. Hi. Good morning, USA, Piper. What you got there? Oh, right, you're an orphan from the Depression era and you write poetry for scraps of food. These are really good. 
Did you squiggle oh, them yeah. yourself? You know, I wrote a poem once about ham, but it didn't go very well. My friend fake humped me and then took the ham carving position I wanted. What? Has that ever happened to you with your poetry, Piper? No. <laughs> I honestly don't know if you're joking right now. It's always so hard to tell with you. Are you being crazy right now? Kids! Not you, Klaus. Your dad just said he's a funny guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny thing to say, Dad. That's not like you. It wasn't a joke. Here's a joke. Have you seen these teens eating their Tide Pods? What the heck? Those are for dishwashers. Boo. Stan, the last good joke you made was Steve. Nice, Mom. You burned Dad and Steve. Unlike Dad, who's had 14 years to burn me and never once scored. Never once scored. Kind of like Steve. Oh, wow. You see that, Dad? That's how you roast Steve. Is it? Can we go now? <laughs> Hell no. You haven't even started on the backyard. Oh. Ooh. We're gonna die here. I can't do this anymore. I'm just gonna take this. What's that? It paralyzes you. If I can't move, I can't work. I got it from Ace Chapman. That basketball guy who sometimes lives with us? Why don't we just give it to Principal Lewis? Oh, good idea, babe. But how are we gonna get him to take it? I'll step on his foot and when he opens his mouth to scream, you toss the drugs. What's that? Drugs? I'll take it. I don't care what it does. <laughs> You crazy ass son of a bitch. Ooh. Now you only have four. Oh. Uh -huh. Francine, I played the. Oh, oh you got. God. It. You got in a fight at school? Rough now, sex. Look, you know, I'm going to be a straight shooter with you now. I think I screwed the pooch on this one. Told what? you. You know how you said try to be friends with the senator's daughter? Sex yeah. the dog. Well, was it hard began work. like that. And then middle, middle, middle. And then I sold her to a drug dealer. The end. You what? Are you seriously mad at me, Stan? You're the one who's always telling me to go with my instincts. I thought you'd be proud of me. Ah, oh, there's a blue jay out there. I don't want to see the blue jay. Oh, it's so blue. You're not going to want to miss this. No. Stan. It's a drive-by. Fine. Oh, it's gone. Why would you sell the girl? Why would you not look at the blue jay earlier? <laughs> no. Don't kill him. It's not what we do. Yeah, or what he said. Killing's not what makes a man. It's something else. <laughs> You'll regret it. I did. Dad, I'd like you to meet your grandchildren. Uh, what? Oh. Sorry, Peepaw tried to kill you. I've been dreading this day, but it's time. You're ready now. You have to go. Go. Get out of here. Shoot. Yeah, ah! yeah, they left as soon as you said go. Ah! Have the steam room. It's nice things about you. <laughs> the pleasure is all mine. Halfway there. Still excited. <laughs> oh, my God. Darling, are you all right? Damn, bitch. I, I'm fine. It's just a little morning sickness. You pregnant? I didn't want it to come out like this, but we're pregnant. We? What? 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 Steve, don't play innocent now. You knocked up my baby girl? When I get down there, I'm gonna murder you. Don't you move. <laughs> You're pregnant? Oh my God, he's got me. He's taking me up the stairs. What's at the top of the stairs? Oh God, it's all happening so slowly. Roger, what are you doing? Well, with your dad missing, it's only a matter of time before hundreds of people show up for a candlelight vigil. 20 bucks a candle? That seems a little steep. Friends and family get 10 for 100, but we're not related and I don't really care for you, so it's 20 bucks. Oh my God, Mom, I'm so worried. What if, well, what if Dad doesn't come back? Then you'll have killed your father. Do I really need to explain this to you? <gasps> Stan? Oh, Dad, thank God you're okay. We heard you were kidnapped. First, I'm not a kid, so the term is man-napped. And second, I escaped my kidnappers. Oh, God, that's 2,000 more candles. Nobody signed for that. Just ignore him. He'll go away. I thought there were needles. Oh, my God, what happened to you? Uh, I got in a car accident, Francine, but don't worry. Luckily, I've had enough time to remember the exact truth of what happened. Hey, champ, I uh, wanted to talk to you. 
you know, about what you just saw, because things aren't always what they appear. Sometimes when someone is choking, you have to get behind them and give them the Heimlich. This was not that. I was not helping your mother with a leg cramp. I was not giving her a lying down hug. I was not helping her look for her contact. I was plowing, Steve. Oh, my goodness. See, in the animal kingdom, he who mates is king. And you are many, many years from finding a mate of your own. This is nature, bitch. We're getting primal in this house. <coughs> what? Steve, your mom and I are paying a lot of money for you to go to this school. More like so you can go. All you care about is taking me there so you can be friends with that senator. Friends? D did he use that word? God, you're embarrassing. But you're going to be way more embarrassed if you make me go back there. I'll act like a wolf man. No, you won't. I'm a wolf man. My dad is Stan Smith. <laughs> Don't put him on any task forces. You wouldn't do that. And I pant real fast. <laughs> Wear makeup under the eyes. <laughs> is that what you want, Dad? You know I got the pipes. Ow, 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 ow. Was that the pipe? Die, demon of the night. I was joking. He was joking. What? Don't joke about that. I won't. We won't. Damn. I do a serious job. I don't need this. We really appreciate everything you do. It was great getting you on the course today, Stan. Have you thought about your favor? A favor? I did some favors today. <laughs> oh, she sure did. Shaking up medicine at the old folks' home. We all did it. Good idea, Cookie. Let's dig in. <laughs> Come on. Bravo, Cookie. Another face plant. Ooh. Fun party, right? I think me and Susan are going to slip into something a little more diaphragm mm -hmm. I'm not so sure I can go through with this. I like to party, but I'm still a married man. Man, forget Francine. You got two insecure, emotionally damaged girls here who are half your age. This is the dream. It is the dream. Do that shit. Murder that shit, bro. It is only American to slay it. My baby! Masked man, thank you so much for saving my baby. Mouse it was man. very brave what you did. No, ma'am, it is you who has helped me. All this time I was hoping my dad would think I'm brave. But now I know I'm brave. And that's all that counts. What the hell was he talking about? Kid's probably on drugs. I know I am. Oh my god! Stupid Baba! Ruining my Thanksgiving Day football! Now? Do you see anything now? No, keep trying. Stan, I'm completely immersed in water. Maybe I am not the one to be futzing with the TV. Oh, don't be such a baby! Ah! Oh, oh, you almost had it! Wh whatever you did, do it again! No! No! Wow! When I had my idea about the fridge, I, I never thought it would lead to this. What the Your hell? idea about what now? The break room fridge. Oh, I hate the break room fridge. It's always so packed. Someone's got to do something about that. Are you kidding me? You've just been pretending to listen to me all night. Do you know how disrespectful that is? Yeah, that's why I did it. Tell me more. You're still not listening. Oh, Francine was right. If you love someone, you have to at least try to listen to them. I finally know how to be the man she deserves, but I'm stuck as a woman forever. <laughs> ah, that was a terrible toast. Could have been about any couch. Let's try again. To our new pristine white couch. <laughs> oh, it's toned. That is bad wine. That is real bad wine. Never keep wine in the car. I knew it, and I did it anyway. Oh, no. The couch. The cushions are sewn in. We can't flip them. <gasps> Stan will kill us. What are we going to do? We'll just have to sit here forever. That's brilliant. Oh, isn't it crazy how worried we were a moment ago? Mr. Smith, my... And people don't want to put their lunches in the door because it sometimes squishes the sandwiches. So, Smith, now that you're a woman permanently, you and your wife probably won't be getting it on, eh? No, I guess not. We'll just be friends. 
best friends. Seems like a best friend would want you to have all your needs met. Sir, what are you saying? Look in the mirror, bro. You're a red-hot mama and your body is crying out for a man. Let me be that man. I... I, I, I don't know. That doesn't You're work. telling me you haven't wondered what it'd be like if one of us accidentally changed genders after a horrible pharmacological mishap? No! That's what I thought. Now, what if this happened? That's... That's not so bad. You're right. It's not so bad. I bought him in Thailand. You can drown him if it pleases you. I'm Genevieve the Vance. Tonight on News Glance, is heroin the new cure for cancer? What I don't know about things will shock you. And cut. We're clear. Hey, Jeff. Hey, babe. Some guy at the restaurant sent his meatloaf back because there was a hair in it, but it's cool because it was mine. Picnic in the park? I can't. I have this paper due. Bummer. Well, you know what Shakespeare said. I mean, I don't, but I'm sure you do. See ya. Chillin' with Jeff sounds like fun. Yeah, but this is due tomorrow. Listen, Haley Kins, obviously I can't leave the house, but if you supply me with Twinkies, Ho-Hos, you know, any of your basic white trash food stuffs that your freaking mother won't let me have, I'll write your paper for you. What do you know about crime and punishment? You mean besides the fact that the suffering of man is both necessary and useful, which is revealed to us during Raskolnikov's redemption? Nothing. You got a deal. <laughs> Sorry about that. Once every seven hours, like clockwork. All right, Steve, now the key to fixing any election is to cast doubt on your opponent. Vote Shelley Maxwell for student body president. Shelley for president. Sure, you can vote for Shelley Maxwell. If you don't mind voting for a prostitute. What? Don't play coy, you cardigan Jezebel. I have photographic evidence of you having sexual relations with the Jack in the Box man. Ew! The Jack in the Box man? That's sick. He's not even human. Dad, is that really the Jack in the Box man? Yeah, he's in our basement if you want him known. Oh my god. It's Senator Buckingham. Stop pointing. He's the senator who assigns all the prestigious CIA task force positions. Quick, look like you're working hard. <laughs> Don't stand there looking stupid. Start stacking the wood. Weber, you son of a gun. Still playing your short irons in the front of your stance. It works for me. I made a tricky up and down past the trap on nine last week. They got you sitting up shop here? No, no. I'm taking you up to eight. <laughs> Feel the bullet stuck in there? Oh, I can't tell if it's that or an ab muscle. Everything's so hard. <laughs> is, it, is this how we're fighting Al-Qaeda now? By, by horsing around? Stan, how come you didn't tell me everyone is so nice here? Is he about to bone I've that I've got dude? your wedding ring. Technically, you're not married. Hey, you give that back. <laughs> Yeah! I'm the mayor of Jam City! Welcome to Miami. Enjoy your stay. And now, phase three. To enroll at Florida State University. How did a baby and a dog get on a flight to Miami? Guess they're not as interested in reality as we are. Yep, we're keeping it real. Just a boy and an alien on a bus. A boy and an alien in a wig and magical shorts on a bus. Super real! Anyone in here? There you are. Steve, it's not a good time. Dad thinks I'm a coward Mommy and... Mommy is very stressed. And, and, and then I was about to change his mind, but you know what Roger did? Put a sock in it, Steve. Stop worrying about what your father thinks of you. For God's sake, you're almost 15 years old. If you lived in Fresno, you'd be a father by now. Wow. Tough love. You're right. Thanks for the wake-up call. I'm gonna look back on this day and... Okay, your time's up. Get out! <laughs> Mommy's strong! I'll pass, please. Sure. I got it right here. Wha-bam! Oh, dear. I'll handle this, Jared. <laughs> well, bam! <laughs> that was pretty hilarious, buddy. I swear, it's like they're dating now. 
They don't pay me enough to give a damn about that. It's real. What looks good to you? Don't do that. You know exactly what looks good. Your cans and your toilet. <laughs> what do you say we skip dinner and go straight to dessert? You are. Dessert sounds great! Stan, what are you doing here? Thought I'd treat you kids to dessert. Let's see what we got here. We can eliminate everything with dairy because it gives this guy the green apple splatters. Um, Stan, mm. I'm not so sure that- All right, we shouldn't share forks because of your rampant mouth, VD. So maybe skip dessert and each of us go to our separate homes? May I have a word with you? Out of my way, people! I'm here to laugh at how cheesy outer space land is. Oh. Oh. My. God. They got it exactly right. Just like the flying cars on tracks at home. And on Wall Street today, the Dow was down again. Dad, get off me! I have to study for my term paper! You know the procedure, Haley. How come you never search Steve? Now, honey, I love you both, but Steve is not a left-wing liberal who I tried to raise properly, but somehow... What's this? It's a pack of gum. All right, it's gum. Mm-hmm. Just as I expected. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. It was great getting you on the course today, Stan. Have you thought about your favor? A favor? I did some favors today. <laughs> oh, she sure did. Shaking up medicine at the old folks' home. We all did it. Good idea, Cookie. Let's dig in. <laughs> Come on. Bravo, Cookie. Another face plant. Ah! Yep, Stan, get in the car. Bucket thinking. Clearly, you can't handle your gin. Now get in, damn it. Vault! You see that, Harold? That man tried to put his package into that mailbox. Maybe he thought it was a female box. Oh, oh, oh a, fe a female box! It's been nine years since Judy died. Roger, I really need some advice. Always happy to dispense sound judgment. It's my dad. He thinks I'm a coward. But if I do something to show him I'm brave, he says it won't mean anything because I'm trying to prove I'm brave. It's a conundrum. The harder I try, the less he'll think of me. I thought a women. conundrum was a word that's the same forward and back. No, th th that's a palin. Do not shame me. Anyway, there's nothing I can do to change his mind. I'll always be a wimp in his eyes. This certainly is a palindrome. I got it. Here's what we do. We dress you up in a masked superhero costume. You do something brave, and I catch it all on video. Then, this is good, we get that video to Greg and Terry, who show it on the news. While your dad is watching their report, you, Steve, will walk through the room, letting the superhero outfit accidentally fall out of your backpack. This way, your dad will realize you're acting mild-mannered to hide your true brave identity. All right! And we get to dress you up in a superhero outfit. Quilo! Quilo, cape or no cape? Which one of you doesn't want the cape? Oh no, we both do. We're, we're just arguing about who loves them more. Huh? The night belongs to me, for I am... Greater Chimdale County Man! No! That name's terrible! Hey, Dad. What are you doing? Oh, just listening to my boy, Glenn Beck. Did you know America's dead? Pulled into the world garage, left the engine running, flipped on some Roy Orbison, and just let go. Dad, I just came in to say... Well, I'm just really happy that you're home. Good night.
Hello, I'm Ira Glass. With a $35 pledge, you can get the feeling of paying for radio. It's an indescribable sensation. Oh, yeah. Daddy, what's going on? You were right, Haley. I'm a warrior now for the liberal left. And we're about to move forward with an attack that the world's right-wing puppet masters will never forget. Oh. oh, by the way, these are my friends who kidnapped and brainwashed me. This one's a wheelchair guy, but he can still talk and everything. You see, I was driving responsibly with my eyes on the road when a dog jumped out. I saved his life by swerving. He made eye contact as he ran away. No words exchanged. He wasn't a talking dog. But in that moment, I knew he thought me a hero. Well, come on. With a head trauma like this, you should get right into bed. It's like they say, starve a fever, sleep a concussion. That was the worst Uber ride of my life. It was a nightmare. How long did he stop at that gas station to take a dump? Which time? And what about that fish dinner he was picking at the whole time? He was only eating the bones! Please let us know how your ride with Ernie was. Ha! One star. F*** them up, Steve. I feel bad. These guys get fired if their rating falls below 4.6. I don't want to take fish off his dashboard. Fine. Give him four stars. It won't ruin his life, but it will send a message. Now it's asking how much tip to leave. Dude, dude, dude! Type a poop emoji. Do it! Oh, God. Fish! Feels light. No bones. It's Ernie! Back in the house! What the hell was that? I don't know. That's the first time it's ever happened to me. Back door! The back door's locked. I'll get the key under the mat. Mom! That's the first time that's ever happened. You gotta believe me. Thanks, Memphis. She was gross. With three gone, that means there's just one gold blunt wrap left. Babe. Chef? <gasps> Chef? Punch him in his face! Hey, Bong Brain, you have the last gold blunt wrap! Oh my god, I won! I'm going to Tommy Dunk's factory! <laughs> and you get to take a friend! Chef, you have to take me. I can't tell you why, but it's very important. But Mr. S, you hate weed. That would be like taking Garfield to a Monday's factory. Plus, I should take Haley. Actually, it sounds like a lot of walking. Maybe you could just describe it to me when you get back? You make a strong argument. If I wasn't thinking about you before, I definitely am now. Mr. S, rebuttal? I'm prepared to let you sleep with my wife. Jeff, you'd be crazy not to take that deal. Okay, I've decided. I'm taking Haley. I don't want to go. I'm not going. In that case, it looks like Mr. S is going to the weed factory. Yes. Now let's celebrate. Hey! Oh, hell no! Now you done it! Yeah! <laughs> I'll be back in a minute to take your order. Hold on, lady. I'm actually here on official business. FBI. I'm afraid I'm going to have to verify those alleged breasts. I'm not falling for this again. Well, machine says your ID checks out. Why do you guys keep hassling me? Zoe, don't! This is fake. My brother made it. Boo! Oh. Let me ask you. How do your parents feel about you working here? Hey, how's everyone doing? You enjoying my little girl's boobs? I just hate seeing Greg like this. Guy's been a mess ever since Terry dumped him and left town to follow 311 on tour. Oh. You know what? Greg needs a new man, and I'm gonna help him find one. Why? Because that's what you do for friends. At least that's what I do for friends. In high school, my nickname was Super Friend. Actually, it was Super Mouth. Actually, it was Suck Machine. They called me Stan the Man. There was a girl in my class named Stan. I took the promotion because, like, future is female, but what if I get trapped in some monotonous life? Remember what Dr. Ronson said? 
Sometimes your feelings come out more clearly in freestyle rap. Babe, do you want me to drop a beat? Maybe you should. I wanted a life of experience and freshness. Don't know that Subhub is the way to get this. Jeff Fisher here coming on the scene. I'll support you either way, babe. We're a team. Sim All these little bitches can suck my d I'll tie Gucci Mane up and beat him with a stick. Gucci Mane, I'm a straight up merchant. I was here before you. I'll be here long after you, Gucci Mane. Gucci Mane, it's Klaus. You need to get to the studio right now. Your girl wants me, Gucci Mane. You're getting clowned, Gucci Mane! Haley, will you please pass the Dr. Butt Blast atomic fart sauce? Dr. Butt Blast? <laughs> what the fuck What's so what? funny, Mom? Oh, nothing. I just... Oh, it, it, it's, it's nothing. <laughs> just got the giggles? Okay. Well, here's a silly thing. Last night, I had the silliest dream. And in this dream... <laughs> I... Had sex with Jeff. <laughs> yeah. I saw that coming. <laughs> you and Jeff with his floppy little ding dong? <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Look at me. I'm Francine and Jeff. <laughs> Petty Officer Fisher. Morning, sir. How are you feeling? Amazing, sir. I finally have a purpose. <laughs> That's great. But you should know, you're doing a terrible job. You're just supposed to be mopping the deck. Why don't you come up to the bridge? You can be my spotter. Thank you, sir. Oh, is that my fault? I don't know. Are you the guy waving the things? Who's that? Oh, don't worry about him. That's just a nobody who lives in the basement. <gasps> a nobody? <laughs> who farted? Nobody! <laughs> Don't worry, Stan's walking around and everything, but he hasn't said a word, so you know that nail's touching something important. You want to talk about touching a nerve? You guys not liking my cooking has really rattled me. Yes, yes it is me, Miss Nadine. Yeah, Nadine! Today we're making a classic spaghetti and meatballs. That's a huge Every bit! Every step is on these recipe cards, except for one. Enjoy yourself. That's a huge I'll miss. Just follow the steps on the card if that's okay with you. Oh man, that babe Danuta's is here. I'm gonna make a cool face while I chop my onion. Is she looking? Is this face cool? Hmm, my cup has a dent in it. Won't be accurate. I'll have to use 48 teaspoons. <gasps> Well, that's fine. He just squeezed a lemon in there. That's not in the recipe. Your back was turned and he squeezed it, I saw. I thought a hit of lemon would brighten up the marinara. Hmm. Ooh, that's a nice change, Dick. There's no lemon anywhere in this recipe. Has the whole world gone crazy? The nuda. <laughs> Look at me, the nuda. <laughs> Come on, Klaus, just call Danuta. Um, calling a girl is so desperate. Can't I just draw a penis on a brick and throw it through her family's living room window? Are you nervous? No, I'm not nervous. This phone's nervous. Hello? Danuta. Who is this? Danuta. Who's calling? It is me. What? Will you go there? Go where? What? Do you eat? What the hell is this? I've got the money. <laughs> Danuta. I've got the money. Klaus, so that was chilling. I blacked out.
Okay, guys, here we are. And here's a memento for you at no extra charge. So, will you be paying your $20 in cash or... Hey! <laughs> Thanks for the ride, sucker! I can't believe it. I treated them with nothing but respect and civility, and they want to stiff me? Duh. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. what are you doing? You don't mess with a man's dream. Uh, whoa! Dude, you killed him! Damn! One down, four to go. You're really gonna kill five people over twenty dollars? Are you really asking that to the guy who just last week killed six people over nineteen dollars? Oh, yeah. I can't believe Tad's dead. <laughs> I can't believe I already banged his girlfriend. I can't believe I watched. Oh, you did a little more than watch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh my god, is that on the inside or the outside? Oh, it's on the outside. They got run over, man! They're dead! We're next! I know it! Bruh, relax! Go splash some water in your face and pull yourself together, man! We're gonna be fine! Remember, we're Lane's addiction. Hell no. Oh, thank God. God damn. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. It's your boy Blasphemous HD. Twisms.